Oh, here's a taxi. What? Oh, it's a taxi, and it is definitely stopping. Oh. Yes, your name is Ricky, a.k.a. Giovanni. <laughs> it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. Right. But the best thing you could do is, you know, follow me inside. Actually, uh, what I'd like to do is yeah. introduce you to Miracle. Right. Right, I'll do that so for you. Let's, let's do that. I'll do that for you. Yep. I mean... You don't want to come down here? I'd rather have her cover come up this way. Why is that? Like I said, you definitely need to follow me inside. I got, I got some. It's, it's hard to explain right now. Yeah, it's Why don't hard you to just walk down here with me? Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where you going, man? Neve, don't you follow no angry black man into their house. I guess he went back upstairs. Childish as hell. I can understand he feels he's like we're putting putting him on in the hot seat. If he really needs us to go inside. I'm willing to go in. It's yes. fine. Charlamagne, you have to come too. Oh, Lord, MTV ain't paying me enough for all of this, bro. OK, we are in the house. Do you know me from somewhere? Like, have you seen me? Huh? So why me? You know, I. It's, it's, it's tough, man. It's hard. Yeah, there I am. Hey, let's just talk for a second. She's just feeling a lot of anger and, 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 and humiliation. I get that. I get that. So I think the best thing you can do is to just tell her and us what's going on with you, whatever it is. Man, medication, dude. Give me a sec. Think about it. No pressure. It. He's just going to take a second. I'd like to at least give him an opportunity to just explain himself. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm Neve. I'm Kara. Kara. Yes. Hi. Well, I'm Giovanni. Meaning you are the person with whom Miracle has been texting. Yes. Which would mean that you're the guy on the phone <laughs> that she spoke to. Yes. So together, you guys created this. Not together. No. I did it all. on my own. When Miracle wanted to speak with a guy, I didn't know who else to turn to but my husband. I made a page because a friend of mine, her boyfriend was cheating on her. And the girl that he was cheating with, I was trying to get her to give me all of her information. So of course, when I made the page, I'm just sending out friend requests to everyone. So you made the Giovanni Santos page to reach out to a girl that your friend's boyfriend was Messing around with. Yes. Explain how we ended up here right now. <laughs> so there's a big, there's a big. There is a big gap. Well, gap to fill. I don't work because I have lupus. Most of the time, I'm just kind of laying around, kind of in bed, not feeling good. So when she started texting, it was like, oh, I was not just thinking to be... that it would have went this far. Not even thinking that it would have lasted more than a week or two. Just some real catfish. How you let your wife do this, though? Why you didn't check your wife, bro? Like, why didn't you take the phone and say, Miracle, this is my wife, she playing? She's here majority of the time. I'm usually not here. I'm working. That's what I do, you know? So I'm normally gone. So I didn't realize how deep it had gotten. Like, bro, you need to stop with that. I didn't realize that it went over what she originally planned for it to be. Once I got to know Miracle, like, I thought she was a really sweet girl. 
Are your feelings the genuine? Feelings that... They're genuine. Yes, everything through our text messages that was all me. But to be clear, you expressed at least from the little bit that was made apparent to us, like romantic feelings. Um, some of it was pretend, and some of it was real. But far as like wanting a relationship with her, no, I don't want to take it that far. I mean, just from what I got, it was a relationship. It was no, a relationship it, it that, wasn't. That you know couldn't be put to rest. You know, I'm like you, you know, a month go past, and you still conversating with her. You still, you still, this is what's still going on. This is some BS right now. You did make me feel like that person was a real person. Now we on national television looking crazy as hell. I got friends, I got family, I have a daughter. I have a job, I have a career. I work for the damn state. I'm sitting on here looking dumb as hell because of you. Do because apologize of you. that you got wrapped up, but at the same time, it's not like you, 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 you. It's not that, right. it's us. And we did it together. We was in this together. We was, I wasn't texting myself. I'm trying to you were texting blame right every now. spot. You're trying to blame the victim. Mind you, several times, I did try to stop. Every time you tried, you were right back trying to keep me to stay there saying all of this weird yeah, stuff. Absolutely. Let's just be real. Do not do not sit in the same like you was just sitting here like I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, and I'm just sitting here like some dumbass female. No, I'm just and saying I'm, that I'm I tried still more there. Than once. Come on, man. Let's, I, let's, let's, let's be tried real about it. I on. tried more than once. Is it, is it lupus right. or she psycho? Which one? You was, exactly. You're a sick individual. Every, I am. A, I am a sick individual. I am I, a sick I know individual. You are. I have lupus and I live with it every. Day. You talking mind. about sick? Your my mind, mind is good. Oh my, my mind is good. What's wrong with you? Oh there is nothing so wrong with you. You can do like, something like you, this. I apologize. I said I'm sorry. And I, what the f you want me to do? Like, get your buddies in bed? I'm not going to do that. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I'm, ladies. I'm, 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 be, I'm, I'm pissed. pissed. We ain't talking right now. I ain't talking no more. We ain't talking. Maybe now is the appropriate time to. Absolutely. You see me? Don't speak to me. Trust me, it ain't no reason to. Sweetie, you basic. Do you see your outfit though? There's but the door. Yeah, is that a fishnet? There's the door. We can leave. Cause this is right. done. Okay. All right, bro. All right, All right man. Have, take it easy. Have a good day. You too. All right. They some sick ass individuals. They both some bums if you ask me. Child at your wife though, man. Don't let her do that again to somebody. You know, that bottom line is you don't know what's you know what's going on behind the scenes. It's basically what I'm trying to do. Y'all be cool, man. Like, get me the hell out of here. Are you being stood up again? I don't know. I don't understand. Oh. Hi. Uh, hey. It's him. It is Raekwon. I cannot. What's up? Neve. Raekwon. Nice to meet you. You too. I think you know who this is. OK. Truth. So, do you not want to hug me? Like, I'm confused. I'm confused too. Why are you confused? feel like a little bit betrayed because you went to the it's extreme and just did all this. You got people like calling people I know, asking about Cause me. Because I'm, because like, you don't never answer the FaceTime. OK. You you blocked me. Why am I blocked? You were doing a little bit too much for me. What did I do? What's the problem? Yeah, well, so I feel what like we're you, missing what did something. You, what did you come here for? Are we talking? Are we together? What, what's going on? I never said we was together. When did I say that to you? Are you kidding me? You're Raekwon. Yes. And that Instagram account? Yes, that's OK, that's you, OK. Yeah. And it's been you talking to him this whole time? Mm hmm And only you? Just me, yeah. No one else is involved no. in this Kivon. It has nothing to do with it. So who's all these other people then? Well, that, no, so we were wrong. The good news is it was him the whole time. So then the real question then for me was like, we got the impression from Truth that you guys were interested in each other and that there was some chemistry and that you were hopeful that you'd meet up and see what happened. So it's strange to me that this would be an inconvenience when in fact it feels like something you guys might have wanted to have done. I mean, if it was something I wouldn't want to done, I would have had it done. I flirted with him, but as far as a relationship, we never talk about no relationship. The last six months for you has it's been- It's just been somebody to talk to, a friend. So you don't think that anything you said over the last six months gave him the impression that you were interested in him in a meaningful way? If flirting gets you in a relationship, I'll be in about a whole bunch right now. Have you had feelings for him? Yeah, he was a cool person to talk to. He still is a cool person so to talk to. So if I'm a to. cool person, why we couldn't FaceTime? Does your phone work? Yeah, my phone, it works. So if your phone working, why you never couldn't answer FaceTime? Answer that. Because I didn't want to. Why did you waste six months of my life? You wasted your own six months. Nobody said that we were in a relationship. You did that. Are you dumb? No, are you dumb? Are you dumb? No, like, are you dumb? 
Stupid. Like, really? Like, what yeah. was the point of you coming if you're gonna act because like this? Because y'all are gonna keep calling and texting everybody asking, so I came out here, that's why. This is nut. I can't. You guys talk for a second. This is Zeke, by the way. Sorry, I didn't Hi, get a chance you? to meet. Nice to meet you. I'm just gonna check. I'll be right back. Like, why, why did y'all bring me here if y'all know he was gonna act like this? I didn't know it was gonna be him. What the I don't get it. Him? I never said we was in a relationship. Never said that. And then you going around asking people, having people call my phone. Oh, it's Catfish. You going to Catfish? There, you trying to get in contact with me? That's embarrassing as hell. Well, I can understand your frustration. I'm frustrated because I've been in like an on and off game relationship. That's why I never said anything sexual to him. I never said, though, you're my boyfriend, let's be boyfriends, because I'm not. I wouldn't want to bring nobody in there. I don't know. I feel like he's not telling us the whole story. It sounds to me like he might have a boyfriend. I need to ask him more questions. Sure. Try to keep it cool and collected. <laughs> What's Kevon got to do with this? What do you mean? He got something to do with it. Didn't he call you or y'all was texting? Well, we y'all DM'd or something. We yeah, we we and DM'd. Who's yes. Diedrich? A friend of mine, real close friend of mine. I think that y'all all cloud they chasers. Are. What? The cloud chasers. Cause they ain't more lit than me. I'm just about to say that. Cocoa, you, they ain't more lit. Than they, ain't oh, me. they are though. Worry about nobody else. Worry about yourself. You, I'm worry about lit. Yourself. Like oh. I can walk down the street. They so want you, me. So if you're so lit, why you gotta go to catfish and stuff like that? Go get you somebody else since you're so lit. I'm Run very lit. I'm very get lit. Get beside yourself. Who's chill gonna chill me out? I'm gonna stand right here. You got a boyfriend? Yeah, on and off boyfriend. So why are you talking to me? You got an on and off boyfriend. Then every time we chatted, me and my boyfriend wasn't together. Like I said, on and off. When I disconnected from you, we were together. I respect you that much. You don't respect me that much. Well, you said they were on and off, but both of you deceived each other. I ain't deceived nobody. I don't know what you're talking about. He told you he had a relationship. You were in a relationship. You over here trying to like be extra. I'm not trying yes, to be extra. Because why are you going this way? The only way for y'all to clear the air is to be 100%. And the thing about that is, that's funny to me. I'm not upset about that. Kudos to you. Is your boyfriend in the house? No. I'm going to go in your Airbnb and sit down. He just walking in people's houses. <laughs> You see, this is the type of crazy Like, nobody got the time but to But you can understand why he's upset, can't I you? I can't. He said, I love you. You could have, at that point, been like, yo, man, I'm not feeling that. I'm gonna come. Let's go out there. We're just gonna defuse. How are we gonna defuse the situation? What, what, what's gonna defuse the situation? The only way to defuse the situation is just be chill. Look, so somehow he, he got the impression that you guys were much more serious than you thought. He don't give a f about nothing you say in these. Look how he's standing. All right, all right. So let's. No one cares if he's taking off his book bag. I'm not so scared of you. Saying? See, what are you saying? You better get him. Hey, I'm like, hey, not you. scared of you. Look what at you. you. Look at you hey. with this mesh short on, with these burgundy pants and these but black shoes. But you're ugly as f. That's though. fine. I love you. You're it. really ugly as f. That's fine. Though, right. <laughs> all right, let's go for the moment and maybe meet back up and Come we can on. try and sort of reset this. Okay. Let's go get some Fiji water. Nice meeting you. You too. Get this mic off of me. Get this off of me. I'm down here looking crazy. Take this off of me. Yeah, man. Bitch. Here comes the car, guys. All right. Who's inside? Guy? Uh oh. Wait a second. I don't know what this is. I well, know this ain't the What is this? Hey, man, you want to chill out a second? Shh. Excuse me. What is this, man? For real. Don't touch me. Better back Seriously, up. Don't man. touch me. Better back what up. What kind of is this, man? Better chill out, man. What the kind of is this, man? We're talking. Him and I are talking. Yo, hey, you me? a oh, oh, He and I are talking. Excuse I'll me. tell you one thing right now, Excuse buddy. Excuse me. One thing you're gonna like, you're gonna learn to love it too. What the hell are you talking what, about, what's dude? What's going on? I'm gonna be the one wearing the pants in this one. Understand yeah, that? Dude, you're. What the kind of is this? You're being unreasonable. Straight up. The kind of is this? I'm just asking you to take it down a couple notches. Hey, you brought a lot of attitude. By the way, a lot of attitude last night. Thanks a lot. Really felt it too. You and I got to know you better. I loved it. But I'll tell you what, you and I, we could do that later. Come here. We're gonna talk. What you the we got, we ain't really, we ain't got, we done talk. You, babe. Are you kidding me? 
You can still be my chocolate kiss, too. You don't forget about that, baby. Come on. Come on, what the is that? Hold on. Can so, do you know this guy? No, I don't know this No, I don't know this Are you Jess? Yeah, I'm Jess. You're Jess. Yeah. Man, what, man? I mean, this, this, that, there. That's what I had. What kind of is that, man? Oh, hell no, God. Not everything is as it seems. Not everything you see or want it to be can be exactly what you want it to be. And I am living proof of that. And I felt that. And I felt the necessity to put myself out there. This is crazy. What are you so angry about? Come on, the guy's got a family and he's talking to me? He thinks he's talking to some broad? But he did think he was talking to a girl. As exactly. Far as, right? So oh, you're, you're oh. a good actress. Sure, I like that. Yeah, why not? That's Oh, hell no. What, what's your name, by the way? You, you skipped that. My name's Justin. Oh, I'm going to take a, take a stab at this. Sure. You're gay. Obviously, I'm not gay. Well, it's not so obvious. I mean, you, you, you are pretending to be a girl online and, and having a romantic relationship with a guy, so. I give it to you. You got me there. Right. So, may, maybe. What it was to begin with was just a, it, it was a joke, this fake profile, just playing around with people, whatnot. I, I didn't think anything too much of it until, you know, honestly, I started seeing guys like him who are already in a relationship. So I was like, you know what, I kind of have this power to use it for something, use it for good. What I had with him was a little bit personal, and obviously you guys got a taste of that. What my message is to tell people, look, you can't just around on relationships that you're in. You felt like it was your job to sort of teach him a lesson. Is that, am I, am I, I just want to make sure I understand. Yes. You guys were having some sexual. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you were just keeping that up for this moment so that you could con catch him yeah. and confront him? Honestly, yeah. Let's see what she's got to say. Hey. Hey, Good morning. How Good you morning. doing? Can we come in with the crew? Yeah. All right, let's do it, guys. Have a seat. <sighs> so, did you and Hondra talk at all between? Nope. No. Listen. Uh. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Now she's gonna be <laughs> honest. Um, All right, what, what's up? I don't know Hundra. You don't know Hundra? No. What is that, what do you mean you don't know Hundra? I've you... only been talking to her for about like four weeks. So you mean the whole the... nine months thing is yeah, actually true? It's not true, no. So you guys only started talking four weeks ago? Yes. Oh. So you, but you still have been talking to her? Okay. Um, well, obviously she contacted the show. Right. But it's just like, it's not true. Don't know Hundra, don't like her at all like that. Me and Melanie only did it because she asked us to. Wait, what? Melanie knew Hundra? Yeah. So Melanie knows that this is all fake too? Either you guys are like Academy Award winning actors right. or like, I, cause you guys are. Okay, so hold on, so you and Melanie are for real Ex girlfriends. Yeah. Okay. okay. And a couple. And f that, a month. That's true. A month ago, Hundra contacted you guys, and said, "Hey, I want to get on this show, Catfish." I don't know. I don't know if it was like that. I, I have no idea. And that's bull <laughs> There's got to be some reason you're involved in this. Was it because you thought if we got you could get on the show, why would you risk your reputation just to help some girl you don't know? If Melanie wanted to help her, then. I so, love her, so I'm gonna help. So Melanie asked you to help her and encouraged you to get involved? Well, yeah, she needs help. I'm gonna help her, okay. I'm down, I'm riding. Wow. But like, help her what though? Is Andra even lesbian? Does she even like girls? I have no idea, but the way she's trying to make me look out there was like, I, I'm just trying to turn straight girls out. No, that's not how, you don't portray a lesbian that way. I don't wanna be made to look on TV like I'm that person. I'm still not sure I, I understand the situation. Why are we here? I could right. be with my daughter on Father's Day right yeah. now. Does Hundra know that we know this right now that you told us? Nope. So Hundra thinks that we believe her? Yep. Piece of 
I'm know, right? pretty mad. There's really no point in us being here. I'm out for sure. Idiot. Let's go get Hundra. I'm about to go crazy on this little woman, man. Let's call her and Melanie and bring them over here. All right, hey, ladies. Would love to chat. And it was all like a plot just to get on TV. Come over to I Swear to God, I'm mad as All right. I didn't sign up here to come help some stupid little girls find a little 15. I know. Not even minutes, 15 seconds of thing. I feel like a snitch now. That was horrible. What if Melanie was doing some stupid and Geraldine's covering for her? Right. The only person who could manipulate Geraldine into doing this is Melanie. Yes. Because she's got her wrapped around her face. Yes. If Melanie feels like she needs to help her, then I'm gonna ride for her. I feel like she's still not giving us the whole truth because she's trying to protect Melanie. I did it for love, that's it. I am curious to just sort of see if we can at least- Find out why they did it. Just like get it a straight story that makes sense. Yeah. Is this them pulling up? Did you come with Hundra? Uh, no. No. Oh, here she is. So, what's up? Really? So you just steal pictures and portray and talk to people? I'm talking to you. I can hear you. So speak, like, you think that's cool? It's over, yeah. What's over? What's over? This whole thing is over. What do you mean? She spilled the beans. Y'all playing us. Hundra, you want to tell us something? You knew them already, huh? But it was still something that needed to be done, like, as far as me coming out. So that was it? You just wanted to come out? You had to have at least had a reason to want to be on television. I wanted the world to know that I was gay. Like, Why does the world need to know that you're gay? When you're in a culture that hates what you have to become, it's not that easy. So yeah, in a way, the world should give a but I don't want to keep the world gonna, myself. What's the world going to take away from this? Right now, you're setting a really bad example for people. How? Because oh. you lied. And you Chris. also speak on gays like they have a disease. Butch and like gay for a day. I feel like I can call them certain names because I've no. been in their world for a while. On paper, like I think your crusade to liberate Haitian women across the nation is like beautiful. And like there are very real ways that one could do that. And this is the worst way to do it. This is incredibly selfish. You don't look like a hero. Okay, well, this is done. Yeah. Thank you. So why, why are you smiling? What's funny? It's not funny. It's just up. It is. And why did you go along with this? Why do, what, what do you have invested in her? Sucker, you are a sucker. You, corny. You are corny. So a random girl just hits you up on the internet and says like, hey, will you help me lie Hell on no. national television? And you're like, sure. Well, it wasn't like that. I mean, she wasn't a random girl. I mean, we were friends. I just don't see you and Hundra being friends. I don't get no, that No, but pairing. we are though. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say we're like the best of friends. Like, I'm, a, I'm like, oh, now, now we're not friends. I know how it is. Thank you for wasting my time. I regret all of it. You're corny. You're not a hero. You are a, uh, you are a shameful citizen. Like. And she runs away from her problems. Are you kidding me? You know what the I had to do to get here? Yeah. What a coward, dude. You're a coward, man. Stay open-minded. Hello. What's up? Hey, man. What the Are you serious? What? Trez, really? You been behind this the whole time? Why y'all bring her? Wait, who is Trez? That's my baby daddy. Ain't what you no mean, way. who is that? Ain't no way. How the f could you do this to me? Oh, uh, that's no. Trez! 
No, are y'all in on this? What you mean, in on what? You really think I'm finna set you up like that? What the f***? No, somebody you in on You already know I don't even do like this. No, Clearly, this is no, so, not no, something that no you way guys that can were be in on no. together. So let's not let this get between you guys. No, it, it's going to be between us, because how does who is Tress? Well, she, you don't know this guy, but apparently they had a kid together. So you have a child? Yeah. Wow. Man, I'm through with this Wow. I don't want nothing else to do with this. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. That was messy. Why y'all bring my baby to my mama, man? The whole time he been doing it to her. I had no idea that that was what was happening here. Hold, hold on a second. That's like, I really don't believe that. It. So obviously this is, this is awkward, turning into a much bigger situation than we could have anticipated. So that's. Aisha's. I'm gonna go talk to Aisha. Yeah, let's figure this out. The whole time. The whole time. You sat there and you lied to her, and then when it come to me getting into a relationship with somebody, you come and you run away. But you don't want me to be with nobody else but you. Hey, hold on, hold on. No, what hold do you on, mean? Hold on, I need an explanation. What the? Let's not make this. You don't fall all my ass boyfriends, and you don't did all this. Like and then you had this lie go on for three years. It wasn't even supposed to be like that. It wasn't supposed to be like that at all. What you mean it wasn't supposed to be like that, Trey? It wasn't supposed to be like that It's crazy, but I'm the one who, who's going through this, and y'all arguing. You don't ran off all my ex-boyfriends. You don't want me to be with nobody but you. You got a boyfriend. Man, I'm so over this. I can't believe you did this to me. It wasn't Man, like that. It wasn't like that. Uh, hold, on hold on a second. Hold on a second. Take me home! I, this is a, obviously some drama between them that we we didn't that know what was going on. Put in. Step in the car with me for a second. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this is happening right now. The whole time. Why have you been talking to her with this other guy's picture for the last three years and avoiding her all this time? I met her through her. I ain't wanted to be like this. I ain't wanted to be messy. I didn't want it to be no messy situation. Well, that's my kid's dad. Which kid? My son, my eight, my seven-year-old son. I can't keep no boyfriend because every time I get into a relationship, here he come running them away. He don't want me to be with nobody else but him. But every time I turn around, it's a new bitch in the picture. So you met because of Aisha, and you liked her. Yeah. But you couldn't really pursue yeah. her because of your previous yeah. relationship. Yeah. I don't even know who he is. I never we seen met, him. We met at a party about three years ago, October. And so we had, it was the little Halloween party. Do you remember being here for Halloween a couple years ago? I was ago? right before I moved to Washington. We wasn't even really properly introduced, but I, I thought, I, I kind of thought we, we liked each other. So you were you into know, her? It wasn't even supposed to be like this. I was going, I was just really just trying to holler and. <laughs> that's bull, that's really I'm sorry. bull. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. It who wasn't does, supposed to like, go this long. I was going to come right out and tell you who I was. I was going to come right out and tell you who I was off the bat. And then it hurt me, because that's my friend, T.T. You know how many times this girl don't told me she don't fell in love with the person she texting on the phone and come find out it's my baby daddy? Now she looking at me like, I got something to do with this. Like, come on now. You know, we brought Aisha because they're good friends. Yeah. And Aisha's sort of been there for her this whole time. Listen, man. And how I understand that you, the whole reason you wanted to sort of use this fake name was to avoid exactly. this mess. Exactly. But Maybe you didn't Happen think anyway. things through. Because, oh, I, I mean, eventually anyway. she, you know, you, she was going to find out. Yeah. I was going to tell them. I was going to tell them. It wasn't never supposed to go this far, especially when they started getting close, you know. Just, I had, seemed like I had to keep on stretching the lie out. He helps me. He takes care of my other kids that's not his. But the fact that I don't want to it's talk not to just him. no boy, this not just no boyfriend that I've been with for a year and a half. I have been dealing with this man for almost eight or nine years. Like eight Here or I nine am, hi, my daughter. He's saying he got multiple kids. He has like, eight what kind kids. of is this? Had you ever? See, see, I feel like I owe you an apology, but at the same time, I knew nothing of this. I'm in love with who? My baby daddy. You're in love with my son's dad. <laughs> How strong are your feelings for her? I mean, are they really They're strong? I wouldn't even did this if they weren't strong. You know what I mean? Do you still have feelings for Aisha? Yeah, I love her. She's my baby mom. I'm not in love with her. Do you think I'm you're in love with Tiana? I got strong feelings for her. I don't want to hurt her. So why didn't you just meet up with Tiana? I don't know. Dumbass mistake. I should have. Hang tight and let me go check in with them. 
I feel like I just got hit in my face. That's bull Wow. Whew. Does he have feelings for Tiana? It's not just feelings. We're supposed to be in love. He has, yeah, he definitely has feelings for you. I'll keep saying feelings. We're supposed to be in love. Promise to ruin it, slow my ocean. No. Hi. Hey. Jana. No. I don't even want to hear it. Are you serious? I'm sorry. You don't want to talk to me? No, why would you? Really? I'm sorry. No, I want to hear it from like your mouth. Like, is it really you? Yeah. Why? I don't even know why. Like, why? Do you think it's cool to just with my emotions like that? It's not even like that. I'm sorry. It's been you the whole time. Everything's been you the whole time. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. No. And then you're you're going around saying that we slept together. That's what you said. I never said we slept. That's what you, you said. No. That's what you said. You bull, you bull too, dude. How did I bull? What did I say? Chill out. Don't talk to me no. like that. You. What did I say? What did I say? You think it's cool to really with my emotions? Like for what? For what? Is this making you look good? No, it's not. Is this making you look good? good? But you act like I'm the only one going around lying when you're bull too. Right? How am I bull? About what? Sir, bull. What? I'm about to go. Are you cool? No, I'm not cool. I'm not at all. So they just—they're just lying. You didn't say that we slept together. That's not what I you said. I didn't say we slept together, but I think you go around bull. And lying about like we did hook up twice and like you we did hooked up me. twice. Yeah, we, we did. hooked up twice. We hooked oh, up twice. Oh. No, that. Okay. No, this is also her to look good. Come on, no, it's not. No, <laughs> you. This is you don't, don't look good. No, you bitch. I don't give a. <laughs> don't bring me out here for some <laughs> like this. <laughs> you. <laughs> not doing this. <laughs> not <laughs> doing this. <laughs> oh, here's a taxi. What? Oh, it's a taxi, and it is definitely stopping. Oh. Oh my god, no way. Oh my god. Whoa. Hey, hello. Hello. How you doing? Good. I'm Neve. Josiah. Good to meet you, man. Well, hello, Jojo. I guess you know these guys. Hey, what's up? Hi. Hey. Nice to finally meet you. Nice to finally meet you, too. Uh-huh. Hello. Come on, Not gonna shake my hand? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I just can't believe you're you. Yeah, that's the big surprise. That's the big surprise. Wow. wow. That never happens. Wow. Seven years, huh? <laughs> it took seven years for you to get Five years. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna be able to do it with both of them <laughs> at one time. Are you scared? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not scared. scared. I, it's just, it's both of y'all. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've never had a situation like this, so, right. so it's we're, like, we're, it's a lot. we're all trying to figure it out. What was the problem? I don't understand, like. Uh, I mean, these two different people. It's two completely different stories. Well, no, why not, but like, video chat with them or meet up with them? I mean, because at that time, like, it, I had a lot going on. We all got things going on, JoJo. If you're going to let me talk, then, you know, I'll talk. But if it makes sense. Don't jump down my throat. Let's just figure out how we can make this situation go as best as possible. So right now, you have the floor. What's your deal? I'm from Philadelphia. Um, I'm a home health care aide. Um, I'm 22 years old. Have you always lived in Philly, or have you lived in other places? I've lived in several different places. Are there other guys, aside from DJ and Malik, that you've been talking to for a long time on the internet? No. They're the only two? The only two. Do you have a kid? Yes, I do have a son. You two do? Two years old. <laughs> Are you in a relationship with the mother? No, I'm not in a relationship with the mother. 
great. What other sort of bigger details about your life that we don't well, know or maybe we, we think we know? Or... Well, right now I'm currently in a relationship. We've been together for two years. Wow. Two years? In real life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I haven't been able to use Skype or, you know, me. When I'm on the phone with Malik, my boyfriend is not around. If I'm texting Malik or DJ, you know, even if I'm laying in bed with him, I'll turn to the side, you know, so he oh, won't wow. see. Right. So, oh, wow. Oh, you mean, smart. You smart. OK. I mean, y'all have every right to be upset. Upset is the I mean, is an understatement. It's nothing. I mean, only thing I really can say is sorry and try to give you guys answers, but it's not. It's nothing else I can really do. But why do it for so long? I have a special type of connection with y'all. Like, it's, it's kind of hard to let Y'all go, it's, it's difficult. What are your feelings towards these guys? I love both of them. I mean, I might love one more than the other, but I love both of them. Who? Well, I mean, I like, I love DJ more than, mm -hmm. you know. But it's only because, you know, I know him so long. I mean, I'm not trying to hurt your I, feelings. You didn't hurt my feelings. Only thing I can say is sorry. Do you feel like you've been dishonest with them? I feel like we haven't sat down and said we're together. For all I know, he can have about two other people he's about to text, you know, once we leave. But you were lying when you first met DJ. Yes, but, you know, DJ caught me in that lie, and I showed him who I really was, and he accepted me. So my question is, why after that didn't you never come? So you really think during the summer I wanted to take my money and travel all the way to you know East what? Bummer, whatever? I would think if you're in a relationship and committed to someone, or are you feeling such strongly towards someone, yeah, this, I, would, I, I, I would want I to think, take my money. I don't money think I'm going to be able to sit to, here and continue to right. do this. Because you're not going to listen to me. It's so no, you can't stand right, him with a hot hold seat. On, hold, wait, hold on a second. Whatever. 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 You can't have a grown man conversation for <laughs> He gets mad. He can't stand still to talk to have a conversation. He has to move, hang up, or block you. I'm good. I don't got to say. Well, there was a little lie, where's the big lie? You lied. Y'all playing. I'm done. I can't with that. I understand. I understand. This is why me and him can't talk. That's DJ. Right. It's just the. He's got a temper. OK. But you had to know that coming here meant upsetting them and potentially it not going well. On some real Like, I'm not even playing right now. I feel I'm over it. He doesn't seem to feel that guilty. No. Part of moving past all of this now and, like, actually ending it is dealing with these guys and their feelings, which is sort of what you've been able to easily avoid. Just because you showed up doesn't mean you really, like, showed up. Now you got to own up, all right? OK, I mean, I have no problem with talking to them, but I can't talk to both of them. Why don't you talk to one of them at a time? OK. All right, so why don't we walk back so that you can sit down with Malik? OK. All right, so Malik, do you, you cool if I leave you guys? All right, I'm just going to be right over here. I never told you me and you were in a relationship. OK. So, I mean, I, I don't even understand, like, where all, where all the attitude is coming from. We were never together. But how you try to make it seem was, even though we wasn't together right now, in the future time, it, it was going to be something else. You had your opportunity to come see me, and I had my opportunity to come see you. And you didn't and do we that. Both each other at the end. There has been several times you were supposed to come and see me, and you didn't. When did and you do that? There were several times that I was supposed to come and see you, and yeah. I didn't. Can Only you one listen? time. Can you listen? Don't don't talk to me. Like then be quiet then. Stop raising your voice. You are lying. All them people that you talk to, are you serious? Lead a boy for somebody else because it's not going to work on me. I know the truth, can you and down? I can't wait to get can on you Facebook. Simmer down. Just simmer down. Okay. Simmer down. What, what is that? Simmer down. Talk to me with English. 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 Simmer English. is something you do when you cook. Get it together. Okay. Get it together. Okay. Okay, I'm done talking to you. Y'all haven't seen nothing else to no. me. You're dismissed. No, See, I told you why I did act it. act like, oh, man, I'm here. You act like I didn't tell you. This is the thing. Like, you need to listen. I, no, I'm not. No, no I, don't to get up. To I don't need to listen. I don't need to listen. Shut the up, dumbass bitch. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Running. Get out my See, and, and, and then you just put your hands on my face. Now, if I smack the out you, it's going to be a problem. Get out of here. You going to see who the I am. Shut yeah, up. You're the hoe. What the you gonna do? Dumb what you gonna do? Oh, hold on, let me take that. I'll be done beat Malik up out here. Y'all playing. I can't, no. I, I have no words for him because he's lying. Okay, I just wanna go right. ahead. But are you at least open to trying this again 
either later today or tomorrow, because I'll I think you it. are I'll, old I'll enough. I'll try it right now with, with DJ, but I'm, I'm done with Malik right now. I'm done with him. Right, I understand. So let's just walk back. We'll take a second. We'll put the, the, the mic back on you. <laughs> well, I'm willing to listen. You're both adults. You have real feelings for each other. You need to communicate those. So here's an opportunity to do that. All right? Right. So I'll, I'll let you guys do your thing. God, this is crazy. DJ, um, can I start by saying one thing to you? Yes. I am sorry. I'm, I'm serious. like dead ass serious. I'm, I'm sorry. So then why even do it in the first place then? Because it's just something there. It's not. My attention, what do you mean something there? My attention, Where? I still have feelings for you like that now. So I how am that. I supposed to sit here in my head to believe the fact that you're still so strongly feeling these feelings towards me if you bullshit the whole half if of the relationship? Listen, if you don't believe me, then you just don't believe me. It's There's not, nothing I can say to you that's going to make you believe Yes, me. it is. We're stuck on that happened five years ago, seven years ago. That is your whole issue with me. That's not the only one. What's, what else? You got a baby. That's not something so I like to like talk about. What? It's something I don't like to talk about. It's, I don't, it's I don't understand that. Oh, I've I'm, never understand a father to not Let's wanting hold, to talk hold, about their child. Hold, pause. Now, that's what I won't let you do. I, last time I seen my son was he was seven months old. Listen, but still, hold on, hold on. You, saw you asked me a question. Bring it down. No, no, you bring, bring it down. Because you're asking me a question. Because it's not really that deep. Answer. You stood it up in your chair. Stop talking to me like that. I can talk to you. I'm a grown ass man. This is my mouth. OK, that's the end of that. You are full of I refuse to sit around people that's not going to listen. Only thing they're going to do, open up their mouth and just talk, 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 talk. Rather and you don't know the them, situation. They don't. And you don't know the situation. So I don't just like one second. One that's second. clear. Just that's been clear for some years. Just now peeping. Guys. Don't test me. Yeah, no, no, no. Let me it's tell you tested. something. I'm not the one sitting in there. It's you tested. know me. That I got DJ, DJ. You're not going to test me, though. Do you see me sweating? Yeah, let me step out. You said you want to test me, and I'm not going to test you. Who do you Shut think the up, Joe? Who do you Shut the up, Joe? I'm Roll some damn hair on your balls. I'm, but but I'm like sick of my ass man. Bitch, I keep telling I'm you, I'm not the right, I'm, you got the right one. All right. You think I'm, your ass is my no, between no, two by time, you No, you think you are. What's up? There ain't never been no problem. What's the problem? We got all the space and opportunity, mother That's why I'm fing you. I will. I just want someone to tell me the truth. This is all bull Why don't you show us? The two pictures that I have of her. Are this is oh, okay. One. Here we go. Very pretty. Hello, Brie. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. So you saw those pictures and you thought, like, oh, she's pretty. Oh. She's pretty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you've seen of her in the last four years. Yeah. It's odd that someone who is an exhibitionist by profession that you only have two pictures. Don't you think there's something a little? Yeah. It odd? is. It is a little odd and a little off. You ever feel like she's not telling you something? I want to say yes, but then it's like no, because I don't like being lied to. I don't ask for nothing else. Just don't lie to me. I hope that I'm getting what I give. Because I'm being genuine with you, I expect to, for you to be genuine with me 100%. So hopefully that's the case that's going on. If not, four years of trust and not getting it back, that would be really hurtful to me because I don't trust too many people. Uh Wait a second. Here's a message between Whitney and Luscious B. They've talked. So Luscious said, hey, boo, how is everything going? Where are you now? What Two. year is this from? When it's 2011. When do, how September. far does it go? It goes, whoa. Oh my god, wow, they talked a lot. Wait, this is a full relationship. Do they know each other? Look, 2014. Look. Oh my god. They were talking in December. January 19th. That was a week ago. Do you think Whitney is messing with us? Is that what's happening right now? Hey, love, get on Uvu. Love. Wait, they get on Uvu? I thought she couldn't get on Uvu. That doesn't make it any sense. It looks like they've been video chatting think, since 2011. Do you think just Whitney and Brunel talk extensively? They're having an almost daily exchange for the past four years. I'm so confused. Or I'm not. She's lying to us. Does she's she got to be lying to us. Does she she's got to know that Luscious is Brunel. They're very good friends. So Whitney is screwing with us. She's she played us. We figured it out, but we're here. We got catfished. Whitney, is that even her real name? We don't even know if anything she told us is real. 
I mean, we don't even know if they're in love. She wants so to they be, on, be TV. on TV. Yeah, Luscious. She's got a career maybe Lu she's trying to pursue. Luscious is no stranger to the camera. There have to be easier ways to meet than to write into a television show. They're using us for a plane ticket. Did she really think we wouldn't figure it out? I just can't believe this. We were looking through your messages, and basically, we found these. A little over four years of conversation. 55 pages between you and the luscious bead going all the way up to a week ago. There are times where you ask to go on Uvu or Skype, right. and it looks like you guys got on with right. each other. No, I haven't been on with her. Come on. Yeah, well, this person, her name is, um... Come on. I didn't hit you up to do this. That's what's going on. All right, you want to tell us what that means? Yes. She basically hit the show up to basically try to see me. OK. And I was like, why you do that? I want to see you too, but like, this is crazy. Everything just went haywire from there. And now we're here. You lie to the show so that you could come on and then meet each other in person. Yeah. Here's the dilemma. We've now sat with you for probably a total of five hours and listened to 100% lies. That you look, you looking us dead in the eye and lying to us. We're in this position that you so well articulated that you don't like being lied to because once someone lies to you, you don't know what's true and what's not. And we don't exactly want to air a show where we get right. tricked by two people who may just want their 15 minutes of fame. So this is your final shot to tell us the truth. All right. What's the nature of your relationship with Brie? Like we, we've been talking for on and off for about four years. Are you in love with her? I am in love with her. She's there. I'm here. I'm trying to figure out even if I want to stay in New York or not. I want to see her to make sure that if I do decide to move to California, that I'm going to be with her and everything is what she says it is and what we want it to be. Tell us about how it's ruined your relationship with Liz. After Alyssa and I broke up, I started talking to Liz and we hit it off and we were in a great relationship going on for about a year and a half. I'm madly in love with that girl. You were dating her for a year and a half? Yeah, a year and a half. Wow, and Alyssa just broke that up. Yeah, Alyssa started contacting me again, saying I still love you, I wanna be with you. And I was trying to give her the hint, I don't want a relationship and she still harassed me and called me at random times of the night, two or three in the morning. As you could see that it was really hurting your relationship with Liz, like, why not just get a new phone number? I did get a new number, but she got my number somehow. This girl is stalking you. Basically. The harassment continued, and that was a big part of why Liz and I broke up, because Liz felt like since Alyssa was still in the picture, she couldn't trust me anymore. Thank you for meeting up with us on such short notice. Obviously, you know what we're doing here. We want your take on this whole situation, your side of the story. Well, I've known Vince for about three and a half years now. We started talking as friends, and then we got together. But Alyssa didn't get out of his life. She was always in this relationship. So Alyssa was always this, like, third person in your always. relationship? Always. Why is Alyssa still involved? I should be the only girl that you're talking to. She's like, you know, texting him and stuff. And I would see text messages like, I wish you were here looking How am I supposed to react to really? this? Really? Yes. Wow. And she knows he's in a relationship. Yeah. She's making me crazy. And then her cousin gets involved too and starts talking to me, Miranda. He's like, hey, how you doing? How are you and Vince? As soon as she said, I was like, boom, you really don't have to talk to me. That was it and it was cut off. Hmm. She never texted me back to this day. How did we get from that to you guys breaking up? Well, um, it was just this past Monday, we, we just broke up. This week? Yeah. 
That's why, like, I'm really emotional about this. He told me I'm gonna be on Catfish. I didn't understand why. I thought he met Alyssa. I thought he knew Alyssa. So you never Whoa. realized that he had never met her? He lied to me this whole relationship. <laughs> This whole time. Vince told you that he had dated her in real life? And met her and all this stuff from what the stories he told me. Multiple stories about meeting and being with her. Like, he told me, like, he went to her aunt's house, and her aunt's house is nice. And all of it's a lie. I do love him. I'm just disappointed in him. How can you love them and never met them? Welcome to our world. Is anything you told me true? Yeah, everything I've told you is true, except for, of course, the pictures. Does that mean that your mother recently passed away from breast that cancer? Part, no, that part was not true. I said well, that. Well, that's a huge. So then everything's not true. Well, the part, that part. Well, I said did that. Did you have cancer? No. You came out here and said everything I said was true, except for the pictures, and now I it turns out meant, most like, of what you said wasn't true. Why, when he started dating Liz, did you? try so hard to break into that relationship and, and, and cause havoc. You know he's in a relationship. You know he just wants to be a friend to you. That's the story that he told us. Um, well, you know, I might have lied about stuff and everything, but he's not innocent. He has flirted with me ever since he has been dating Liz, and I have text messages to prove that. The thing that he said in his text message, he shouldn't say that if he has a girlfriend. What did he say in his text message? Like he texted me saying something about playing with his I have that on text message, so you can't sit there and say that you didn't send it. Well, did you text it to me? You might as well tell the truth. Yeah, like, You might as well tell the truth, because they're going said, to see it. I said that, but okay. I, I mean... While you were dating Liz, he's told me that he would break up with Liz for me. Obviously, mm. he didn't tell you guys that story? Nope, no. Whatever. But like I said, I agree. It's not whatever. Story. If you have this girl that you love so much that you've been having a relationship with for a year and a half, like why are you right. sending pictures of your I wasn't trying to get let's, any let's sexual not. conversation out of you. Come on, Vince. Don't pretend, and I won't either, that you're holier than no, any other I mean, guy ever. No, we're all the same that. here, OK? Yeah. We're, Wait, we all... time out. I don't do that. Vince called us in yes, under the yes. under be realistic for a second. under the pretense that he wanted to get this girl the right. hell out of his life because she's ruining his relationship right. with his girlfriend who he loves so much. Come on, man, you're making me look like an ass. But you're look, kind of making no. yourself look pretty bad. I mean, Liz had good reason to have suspicions about why you weren't blocking Alyssa. I wasn't trying to get back in a relationship. You were. No, I was. It was something on the side that you wouldn't let go of for Liz, which is all she wanted. I mean, yeah. Every time I want to meet her or something, she pulls up an excuse and then eventually got her to get on Skype with me. It was a completely different person. So the person that you were video chatting with was not the girl from the photos. Yeah, not at all. Wow. When you guys were video chatting, did you have a clear video of this girl? It was a bit pixelated. It wasn't the best connection. What was your reaction? I was shocked and I was upset, questioning why she would do that to me. Then she texted me saying that she had her cousin get on the camera. Why did she want to do that? She wanted to see if I loved her for her, is what she was saying, and not for her looks. But you had never seen that girl before, and you never saw her again. No, not at all. I think Ramon deserves an explanation. I didn't think any, any relationship was going to form with him. All of it was real, just not the appearance. That's the only thing that was fake. OK? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Not right. I know it's not right. Still. You spent over 3,000 freaking dollars on me. Do you not think I don't feel bad? I'm surrounded by that every single day. You couldn't have, like, came clean? 
after all that, if you felt bad? I tried to come clean. You tried to come clean? You know I tried to come clean. You know I tried to come clean. Please don't. You know I tried to come clean to you several times. Yes, and you every didn't. single time. Yes, I did. You were acting all sad. You knew. I knew what? You knew that I tried to come clean before. Is it all right if we all come in? Yeah. He knows my full name, though he probably will claim that he forgot it. He knows he heard my birthday. He's seen my driver's license. You've seen me. We FaceTimed. We Skyped. You called me by my name before. Is that true? Yeah. Now that I... What the hell? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were multiple times where he has seen me. He knew that if I wasn't Paola, he knew that this is what he was going to get, whether he wants to act like he doesn't know or not. It's a little weird that you didn't tell us yeah, that, you got, that she went to such, she, I mean, you only told us that she once said something and then. That you only saw her from here up. No, he saw me. He saw me. How much of what she's telling us right now is accurate about the fact that she tried multiple times to explain to you who she really was? Yes, that did happen. I barely remember. What barely remember Dude, that? We sat was... with you for hours. This trying to extract stuff from you. It sounds like you had kind of met her a couple times. Yeah, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't. Not well. Take us back, you know, five months ago when you got this uh -huh. random phone call and kind of how everything progressed from there. Yeah. So I was selling my soaps and things like that. And so every once in a while, I, you know, I'll get a call. And I got a call from Jack. I let it go to voicemail. I text him. I wanted to know, you know, like if he had any inquiries. He's so funny. He just started like kind of flirting with me. And I thought it was funny and I did it bad. Wow. And, what, was, what was his yeah. line? Like, I'm feeling really dirty. Do you have any soap? <laughs> clean me up. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a dirty boy. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about him? He lives here in Rochester, too. He lives in Wait, Rochester. Time out. Why haven't you guys met? He works a lot, and I'm busy with my kids. Do you talk to him on the phone? No, we don't. You've only texted? We only texted. Yeah, but he called you once. Yeah, but she didn't answer. You're a smart woman. You know that that's pretty weird. That is weird, but at this point, I've fallen for whoever I've been talking to, honestly. I'm in love. I am very wow. emotionally invested in this relationship. But lately, he hasn't been texting me back. And when he does, it's like late at night. It makes me wonder, am I the only person he's talking to? You don't know Jack. <laughs> Shawnee, we need to have a real talk here. Yes. You've seen the show. Mm -hmm. There have been people who've come on the show okay. who claim to have never met the person that they ended up talking to. Okay. But then it turned out that they knew them all along Okay. Because this person is in Rochester. The story feels very, it's unusual. So I just want to <clears throat> give you an opportunity now uh -huh. to let us know if by any chance you know who this person already is that you're talking to. I wish I did. That's why I called you guys. So I put myself out there to do this. Coming on TV is going to embarrass the hell out of me. And I'm really going to be pissed off if it's not the situation that I've thought that I've had for the last five months. I'm not, you know, one of those type of people I even put myself out there like that. So right. this is kind of huge. <sighs> Do you know this person? You know this person? Do you know this person? Yeah. You're in trouble. Someone's lying. It's your ex-husband. No way. Is it really? Your ex-husband. Unbelievable. So you were lying to us. You did catfish us. Hey, I'm Neve. Why don't you just tell what's us going what's going on? Did you know it was her? No, oh, not until I got like to right by this tree right no. here. I didn't, I thought like this was gonna be a first time meeting. I, that's why I'm 
I'm I don't wonder, like, what's going Wait, on. What, but but didn't she her. tell you her name uh, via the text? Didn't she say, oh, my name is Shawnee? Yes. I said my name is yes. Shawnee. Right. This is not Shawnee. I don't understand. No, what's like, your name? Not a Shawnee. Ebony. Your name is not Shawnee? No. Why wouldn't you tell us that? Because I thought that you guys wouldn't help me. Help you do what? To try to get my family back together. You took every chapter out of the catfish book. Well, he catfished me, and I catfished him when back. When did he catfish you? Because he told me his name was Jack. That's because you're some stranger hitting him up, all, you know. Yeah. Time out. Ebony, you did all this stuff. Yeah. You lied to us. You lied to Brandon. You lied and cheated your way here. For what? I felt like I didn't know what else to do. Honestly, we were living in the same house and we weren't even talking to one another. And the kids would see that all the time. And I just thought like maybe he could talk to me as a different person. How is it that you can just maintain for five months being like the perfect person ever just about? And like for 16 years, you couldn't even get it together. Like, why can't we do that as Brandon and Ebony? I don't want to have to be somebody else to be loved. So did you catfish us and him in order to force this conversation? Because you could have had this conversation with him without us, theoretically. I've tried, but we just argue, and it made it worse. It made everything worse. How did you and Emily meet? I contacted her when I had gotten my heart broken by my ex. I was feeling gay for a day, so I'm like, hey, let me just be gay for a day and see what happens. I was just going through Facebook, looking at girls' pictures. I came across her picture. I'm like, oh, snap, this girl's really cute. Let me just hit her up and see what happens. And we hit off right then and there. And then she gave me her number. She opened up to me about her personal situations with her family, how hard it was for her to come out. She made me understand it's OK to be gay. I really do love her, and she's pretty. So that's part of the package to you. Like, she has to be who she looks like. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. All right, so hold on. Let me explain what, what's up here. Have a seat, have a seat. Basically, nine months ago, Hunter was on Facebook and came across a profile of a girl named Emily with pictures of you that, like, really caught her eye. We spent the last couple days looking into this whole situation. We found some interesting things you might actually be able to help us make sense out of. Lay it out on me, come on. Okay, so the big question is, do you know a Geraldine? Yeah, my ex-girlfriend. Whoa, okay. Wait. But you have a girlfriend now? Yes. With my girlfriend now, uh, me and her broke up last somewhat last year. She had went to the army. Me and Geraldine were friends for a while. We ended up into a relationship. We broke up because I was still in love with the other girl, so I got back with the other girl. It wasn't like an ugly, nasty breakup, was no, it? No, I literally just told her how it was. She took it pretty, uh, pretty well. Um, Whoa, OK. Because the number that Hundra is currently talking to her mm -hmm. on comes up registered to Geraldine. Oh, my god. I don't know Hundra. You don't know Hundra? No. What is that? What do you mean, you don't know Hundra? I've only been talking to her for about like four weeks. So you mean the whole nine months thing is yes. actually true? It's not true. No. So you guys only started talking four weeks ago? Yes. Oh. So you, but you still have been talking to her? Okay. Um. Well, obviously she contacted the show. Right. But it's just like, it's not true. Don't know Hundra. Don't like her at all like that. Me and Melanie only did it because she asked us to. Wait, what? Melanie knew Hundra? Yeah. So Melanie knows that this is all fake too? Either you guys are like Academy Award winning actors right. or like, I, cause you guys are. Okay, so hold on. So you and Melanie are for real ex-girlfriends? Yeah. Okay. okay. And a couple, and that, a month, that's true. a month ago, Hundra contacted you guys and said, hey, I want to get on this show, Catfish. I don't know. I don't know if it was like that. I have no idea. That's There's got to be 
some reason you're involved in this? Was it because you thought if we got, you could get on the show? Why would you risk your reputation just to help some girl you don't know? If Melanie wanted to help her, then I so, love her, so I'm gonna help. Really? So you just steal pictures and portray and talk to people? I'm talking to you. I can hear you. So speak, like, you think that's cool? It's over, you know. What's over? What's over? This whole thing is over. What do you mean? She spilled the beans. Y'all playing us. Andre, you want to tell us something? You knew them already, huh? But it was still something that needed to be done, like, as far as me coming out. So that was it? You just wanted to come out? You had to have at least had a reason to want to be on television. I wanted the world to know that I was gay. Like, Why does the world need to know that you're gay? When you're in a culture that hates what you have to become, it's not that easy. So yeah, in a way, the world should give a but I don't want to keep the world gonna, myself. What's the world going to take away from this? Right now, you're setting a really bad example for people. How? Because oh. you lied. And you Chris. also speak on gays like they have a disease. Butch and like A for a day. I feel like I can call them certain names because I've no. been in their world for a while. On paper, like I think your crusade to liberate Haitian women across the nation is like beautiful. And like there are very real ways that one could do that. And this is the worst way to do it. This is incredibly selfish. You don't look like a hero. Okay, well, this is done. Yeah, thank you. So why why are you smiling? What's funny? It's not funny. It's just up. It is. And why did you go along with this? What do, what, what do you have invested in her? Sucker, you are a sucker. You, corny. You are corny. So a random girl just hits you up on the internet and says like, hey, will you help me lie Hell on no. national television? And you're like, sure. Well, it wasn't like that. I mean, she wasn't a random girl. I mean, we were friends. I just don't see you and Hundra being friends. I don't get no, that. No, but pairing. we are though. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say we're like the best of friends. Like, I'm, a, I'm like, oh, now we now we're not friends. I know how it is. Thank you for wasting my time. I regret all of it. You're corny. You're not a hero. You are, a, uh, you are a shameful citizen. Paint the picture of how we ended up here. So about nine months ago, I got a message like, "Hey Taylor, how have you been?" And I'm like, "Hey, you know who is this? I don't really remember you." And he's like, you know, it's Christian. We went to high school together. I remember when you transferred from Sandy Valley to McKinley. That's a very specific detail. Yeah. So when he said that, I'm like, OK, you were there. You know me. Yeah. Let's talk. So I'm like, well, here, here's my number. Let's text. We don't have to you know, keep talking on Messenger. So we texted for like another week or two. And then I was like, you know, can we talk on the phone? So I called him mm. and we talked. And that lasted for like maybe a month. And mm. then five months ago, just stop talking to me. So he texts. Was there ever any doubt when you talked to him on the phone that his voice sounded like anything other than a guy? Not at all. Okay. It was definitely a man, definitely a guy. A guy. Yeah. Okay. okay. And how were those phone calls? Like a lot of chemistry and it just it, it felt like someone I already knew. He's like gentle, he's caring. We laughed a lot. He's very funny. So I'm like, well, let's FaceTime. And he's like, oh I can't because my camera's broken. I can see you've texted her. Mm -hmm. That's her. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 Wait. That's her number? Yeah, that's her number. What? Oh, Wait a second. Oh, 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 oh. Jessica's number is Christian's number. That's Christian's old number. You never noticed that Christian's number was her number? No, never at all. Oh, what? Oh, Wait a second. Oh, 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 oh. Jessica's number is Christian's number. Yeah. Hello? No, that's not his number now that I talk well, to yeah, him. Well, yeah, but you have this number for Jerrica. It's her when I call her. Like, I could call her right now, and it's her. It's not a guy. Right, but. That's the point. Right, so it's definitely her. The first number you had for Christian before you knew his new number is Jerrica's current number. So you, you knew that there was some weird connection with her and this story, which is why you acting surprised is weird to me. <laughs> So when I asked her about that, she said it wasn't her. You already called her out? Because you had it programmed yeah. in your phone already. Yeah, I told her. I was like, this goes back to someone that I've talked to. 
Why wouldn't you mention that to us? When we got here and said, oh, by the way, the first number you had for Christian comes back to your friend, Jerrica. How could you not immediately say, oh yeah, I knew that. Well, because I, I believe her. In my heart, I don't believe it's her. Yeah, but like, how could you not mention Be that? You, that you schedule. brought that up with her. You're too smart for this. But if I felt like a little bit that it was her, then I would be on it that it's her, but I, in my heart, I don't believe it's her. You're telling us the truth. Yes. I'm sorry, bro. Honestly, like, I just really can't say anything more than that. I feel horrible. I know, I feel bad. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's just be honest. Yeah. Can someone just be honest? This is stupid. I just want someone to tell me the truth. This is all bull There is no bull This is what you see is what you get. There's like, nothing no more to intended. it. Like, it just got out of hand. We know for sure that's not what's going on here. I don't, what else, what do you think is going on? I think you guys and Taylor are all full of We know Taylor's best friend has the same phone number as the catfish. It doesn't add up, none of it. You guys aren't fooling anybody, it's all BS. Do you have any additional things to say? Not at all. Why don't we take a break and all right. a little bit more? Okay. Is that cool? Yeah, why don't we just take a quick yeah. breather? Okay. All right. So, um, we just got a hold of her. She said the reason she doesn't want to be on the show is because she doesn't want to be deceptive in helping Taylor with her plan. Maybe Kara right. got cold feet, and then these guys got pulled in, but yeah. Okay. Right. Only one person in this room can explain. How did you get involved? Taylor? Like when you guys added me on Facebook and we're just like playing around? I'm trying to give you the opportunity to speak your truth and then I will And speak I'm mine. speaking my truth. I wouldn't feel the need. Right, so, so I'll just say it. I'm just going to say it. So Taylor set this up to come on TV. And then at some point, asked you guys to come on the show. Yeah. OK. We kind of got in on at the end. You basically, you three were going to be the ones that were the, the catfish. Her. She was. Wait, hold on. Taylor, you just said that like all, all of a sudden you're, you're like agreeing with the story. You're just going to like it casually admit that like they're right and that you've been this whole time? Well, are you ready to do that? So, Jerrica decided to make it up and I wrote it. <laughs> okay. And then Jerrica said she didn't want to look stupid. Okay. So, I was like, let me see if someone from Atlanta can do it. So, I wrote her. But, but the why? Fact that they're involved, why do I'm all ready. that? To be on the show? Yeah. To boost your Instagram? What's the origin point of why we are all sitting on this <laughs> in these couches right now? Like, I want to be on TV. Like, like what? The f we talked to you. Uh, you sat with us talking about this. Why we spent time and energy when we do this, like, 110 percent into everything, and like that's. So up. they would have said no. Then I wouldn't even have wrote into the show. It's not like I was going to keep whoa, finding whoa, people. Yeah, that's my fault. Whoa. Yeah, right. No, you, that's ridiculous. You don't think anything's your fault. The world is like <laughs> no, at your I feet never to said do whatever nothing you want. Yeah, but, my that, fault. but this just like, you are, you look so gross right now. I don't even think Jerrica is involved. I'm sorry. I just think the fact that you went through with this and that you so casually are just saying like, OK, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and haven't once like even seemed to express any sense of remorse. You're like, life is going to be perfect for me anyway. So like, oops, sorry. That's how okay. I feel about you right now. OK. So we saw your video about Joshua. We've had some long relationships on the show, but 11 years is a long time. Tell us more about this guy. He's the sweetest guy in the world, even though it might sound crazy. Like, who waits 11 years and who stays along? But he's so caring. He makes me feel like a million bucks. And he has a nice body. <laughs> He's the love of my life. You were 15 when you met this guy? Yes. 
Where does Joshua live? When we first met, he lived in California, and then he moved to Texas, and then he moved to Vegas, and then I guess he's back in California. And have you guys been dating this whole time? Yes, when we were younger. We had an agreement that it's like a don't ask, don't tell, since we live so far. But now, we are like exclusively together. And he's like, I want to build a family with you. I love you, I want to marry you. Yeah, is that something you're into the idea of? Yes. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. You mentioned that you tried to fly him out to Minnesota once. I was saving up, and I was like, hey, I actually could fly you out. And of course, his excuse is, oh, I can't. I have to work. What does Joshua do? It seems like he can never keep a job. Every time I talk to him, like, I'm looking for a job. Oh, I have a job. Oh, I don't have a job. Stuff like that. This is really <gasps> weird. I don't know if he's fishing for money from me. Have you ever sent him money? No. And you said when you video chat, he doesn't really show his face. What's, I mean, yeah, what's that about? Is there a chance that he's not the guy in the photos? It's just weird because I'll try to video chat with him, and it's like pitch black. And I'm like, oh, turn on the light. Oh, I'm tired. I don't want to turn on the light. Oh, you know, the signal sucks. Classic excuses. Exactly. But I don't know. I just, I keep pushing all that to the side because I just love this guy to death. Hello. Good Kanini. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Can we make this a FaceTime? Sure. All right, here we go. We're upgrading. We're upgrading. This way. What's up? Love you much at work. Nice. We're trying to find out a little bit more about your friend, Josh. Uh-huh. How do you know Josh? I met him on Facebook. Okay, and are you guys, like, talking, or are you just friends? We talking, dating. He's talking about his wifey, girlfriend, this and that, so. Whoa. He was talking to you like he was really, he likes you a lot. Yeah. He's about I'm his baby. He care about me, this and that. How long had you guys been talking online? Um, I'm gonna say three years. Whoa. Well, so, Kanini, I have to tell you something. We met a girl who has been talking to Joshua for 11 years on the internet. Uh. And she kind of thinks they're dating. Uh. And he, he calls her his wifey and all that. Not supposed to be his girlfriend. How you doing? Hey, Josh. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Eve, Max. How you doing? Yeah. Obviously, you know Brianna. No? How you doing? It's been a long time. Yeah. Crazy. 11 years. <laughs> were, were you avoiding meeting her? I mean, do you, like, yeah, what, the FaceTiming with the... Yeah. yeah. There's been times we tried to like video chat and stuff like that, but my granny's computer was garbage. <laughs> so we never really got around to doing that, but I wasn't avoiding meeting her. <laughs> so many questions. I just have to know. Have you ever saw our relationship, like seriously? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like relationship, not like friendship, but like relationship. Yeah, I did. Then, are you talking to any other girl? Uh, there was one, yeah. I was a few weeks, but I stopped talking to her like two weeks ago. Look, it's our job to dig. Dig. We talked at random. We contacted a few other girls that were right on your Facebook page, and they told us they're dating you. I mean, all of them. Yeah. Batting, batting a thousand. As far as, you know, the other girls would go, I can't recall, like, multiple at one time. You made it seem like it was just me. Like, I'm not talking to nobody. That's what hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, uh... You gave her the impression that you thought of yourselves as in a like relationship. Like a real, yeah. And is, it, is that how you felt? Yes. I don't know. Sort of explain a little bit more about how you met Dean and what went down. 
Dean and I originally met on a website called Team Chat. I had just been on there surfing message boards. Dean saw a lot of what I was writing on there and it interested him. So he decided to message me. We exchanged numbers and we really connected. We started talking about how we were kind of soulmates. What went wrong? So about two years into the relationship, he disappeared. He just fell off the face of the planet. Didn't return my call, didn't text me anything. It was dead silent for about nine months. And then I get a phone call. He says, dropped out of high school, I'm having issues at home, and didn't want you knowing about these things. And did you guys continue talking after that? We did. I was his emotional crutch, just there supporting him. And then again, he just, poof, disappeared. Wow. After about a year, he just calls me and said his mom passed away and how he needed someone to talk to. So then again, I was there supporting him. Do you see a future with this guy? I do want to be with him someday. I hope for that. Throughout the years, I've become attached to him. Like, I can't let him go. Oh, oh, Texas is calling. Catfish headquarters. Yes, my name is Zoe. Zoe. Zoe, oh, hey, Zoe. We're just trying to find out a little bit more about your friend, Dean. We met like six years ago, like on Team Chat. Was it like a relationship or? Yeah, um, he made me feel special. You know, we talked about like just about everything. Then he just like disappeared on me, like a total ass. Have you guys ever video chatted? No, because he doesn't video chat. And right. Like, I thought that was weird. And what what kind of like drama? has he been going through? Like, what things have happened in, his, in the last few years? Um, like, his mom died. Has he ever mentioned a girl named April? Uh, I don't believe so. All right, well, Zoe, listen, thank, thank you. Uh, just so you know, you've been having the exact same relationship with Dean as another girl named April. Word for word. Word for word. My advice to you is to forget this guy. I don't think he's worth it. All right, thanks, Zoe. Uh, good luck with everything. Jeez, so April's not even the only girl that Dean's been giving this whole story to, promising to be with. I mean, if she just happened to be some random girl we reach out to, who knows how many other girls he's been doing this. How you doing? All right, how are you? What's up? Dean, right? Yes, sir. Is it him? Yeah, that's the <laughs> choice. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. How's it going? It's going all right. All right, well, come on out. Yes. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Not sure what to say. This is April, as you know, Hi. I presume. Hi. <laughs> oh, fun. You're you, which is a surprise for us. Yeah. Just curious what why didn't you meet up with us yesterday? What, yeah. I mean, honestly, it was just nerves, man. Um, I just overthought myself into a position where I wasn't comfortable, and uh, I didn't know if she would like me or not, you know? I mean, I was kind of scared on that aspect, to be honest. OK. And how old are you? I'm 23. So that's all true. And, and do you really not have a phone right now? No, I don't. OK. And you're just crashing intermittently yeah. with Dakota? You don't have a place to stay? Um, I'm getting things together, getting, you know, that aspect of my life under control. But uh, for, the, for the time being, this is where I'm at. So everything you've told April is true? Yes, sir. Including the unfortunate passing of your mom? Yes. Sorry to hear that. Is there anything that hasn't been true? Any lies that you've told her? What about? some of the other girls you've been talking to? Um, I mean, those are all just friends. Uh, I'm not looking for anything right now. But we've talked to Zoe, and it seems like you, you know, you, you've made a couple friends online, some of whom you've met in teen chat, like April, but then don't meet up with them or make plans. There's just a pattern the of whole, other people who've had a story like April's. The whole thing with Zoe is I, I never really moved past a point of platonic interest with her in the first place. You know, she has kids, stuff like that, and I'm not looking to involve that in the situation that I'm currently in. 
I understand you're trying to get your life together, but April's under the impression that you have feelings for her. She needs to know very clearly where you stand. Yeah. Do you have feelings for her? I do. Honestly, I've never connected with somebody like I have with April. There's just been nobody else that makes me feel the way I do whenever I do talk to her. And I can honestly say, right now, standing next to her, I, I feel pretty damn great. <laughs> um, I mean, I want to, you know, keep talking to you. I'm not going to go anywhere anymore. But it has to be equal. I don't want to be the only one that gives 100%. It has to be equal. It has to be both ways. Tell us kind of the story of you and Josiah from the beginning. Like, how did you meet? I met him on a Black Gay Chat. We instantly connected. Later on that night, we actually talked, and we talked for hours about everything. From there, our relationship transpired to, like, this kind of crazy love fest. What do you love about him? My personality, being confident in myself, really came from him teaching me how to really accept mine for who I am. And we just built this bond, you know what I'm saying? He was my first love. What does he want to do? Recently, I know that he's working at Home Health Aid, basically doing something he really wanted to do, is helping people. Describe him physically for a second. In the second pictures, that was the quote unquote supposed to be him. Brown skin kid, birthmark over the eye. Still cute though. Maybe now is the chance to see if it could be something more. Like I said, Josiah was my first love. When you have that type of bond for so long for with someone, of course, every other guy that comes after that, you're going to kind of hold up to a certain standard. So it's like, you know, it's always that question of what if. OK, I feel like before we get any further, when we got your email mm -hmm. about your situation, mm -hmm. one of the guys who helps go through all the emails mm -hmm. sent us another email. It's very interesting and curious, and I think you might be interested. Oh, this. really? Here's an email from another guy named Malik. Mm -hmm. Why don't you read this, and we can talk about it. My name is Malik, and I am 20 years old. For five years, on and off, I've been in love with a guy named Josiah. But we never video chatted or met in person. When I started to question him about standing me up, he blocked me on Facebook. Hmm. OK. Wow. Now that's funny. I mean, even from what he says about Josiah, the things he do when he gets upset, this sounds exactly like Josiah. When we saw these emails, yours and this one, and put them next to each other, it was like, this is a little bit more than just a coincidence. Exactly. Well, so here's what I think we can do. We can call mm. Malik. We can to see if they're the same person. Right. We don't even know. And then we have a problem. <laughs> now we need to talk, because we have an interest in the same guy. So, yeah. Well, then let's give him a call, OK? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey, what's up? Uh, Neve and Max here. We saw your email about Josiah. And uh, we definitely want to help, but we're, we're in a little bit of a unique situation here. We got another email from uh, another young man named DJ. And uh -huh. both of you told very, very similar stories. So this DJ guy talking to Josiah? We actually don't know yet for sure that you're talking to the uh -huh. same Josiah. So I'm going to introduce you now to DJ. He's going to come on the phone. Wow. Hey, Malik, how you doing? What's up, DJ? Does these numbers sound familiar to you? 267? Yes, it does. <laughs> does he have a Facebook page or Instagram? Facebook. So what's his current profile picture? He's just wearing like some big geek glasses with a collar shirt and stuff on it. It's his picture. We're definitely talking to the same person. Would you say, like, you're in love with him? Yes, I'm definitely in love with Josiah. Like, Here's what I'm going to suggest. If you guys are cool with sort of teaming up to work on figuring this out together, mm. we can come meet you in Charlotte, and then maybe all go find and talk to Josiah, Josiah. together. Mm -hmm. I definitely have a like problem like teaming up with you because it's not none of our fault. It's his fault. Exactly. And I'm just like I'm kind of 
All right, so we'll see you soon, Malik. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. All right, man. Hello. How you doing? Good. I'm Neve. Josiah. It's me, man. Well, hello, Jojo. I guess you know these guys. Hey, what's up? Hi. Hey. Nice to finally meet you. Nice to finally meet you, too. Uh-huh. Hello. Come on, sir. Can I go shake my hand? <laughs> this is going to be fun. I just can't believe you're you. Yeah. That's the big surprise. That's the big surprise. Wow. That never happens. Wow. Seven years, huh? <laughs> it took seven years for you to get Five here. years. Yeah, um, I'm not going to be able to do it with both of them <laughs> at one time. Are you scared? Mm -hmm. No, I'm Are not scared. scared. I, it's just, it's both of y'all. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've never had a situation like this, so, right. so it's we're, like, we're, it's a lot. we're all trying to figure it out. What was the problem? I don't understand. Like, uh, I mean, these two different people. It's two completely different stories. Well, no, why not, but like, video chat with them or meet up with them? I mean, because at that time, like, it, I had a lot going on. We all got things going on, JoJo. If you're going to let me talk, then, you know, I'll talk. But if it makes sense. Don't jump down my throat. Let's just figure out how we can make this situation go as best as possible. So right now, you have the floor. What's your deal? I'm from Philadelphia. Um, I'm a home health care aide. Um, I'm 22 years old. Have you always lived in Philly, or have you lived in other places? I've lived in several different places. Are there other guys, aside from DJ and Malik, that you've been talking to for a long time on the internet? No. They're the only two? The only two. Do you have a kid? Yes, I do have a son. You two do? Two years old. <laughs> Are you in a relationship with the mother? No, I'm not in a relationship with the mother. Great. What other sort of bigger details about your life that we don't well, know or maybe we, we think we know? Or... Well, right now, I'm currently in a relationship. We've been together for two years. Wow. Two years? In real life? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I haven't been able to use Skype or, you know, me. When I'm on the phone with Malik, my boyfriend is not around. If I'm texting Malik or DJ, you know, even if I'm laying in bed with him, I'll turn to the side, you know, so he oh, won't wow. see. Right. So, oh, wow. Oh, you mean, smart. You smart. OK. I mean, y'all have every right to be upset. Upset is the I mean, is an understatement. It's nothing. I mean, only thing I really can say is sorry and try to give you guys answers, but it's not. It's nothing else I can really do. But why do it for so long? I have a special type of connection with y'all. Like, it's, it's kind of hard to let Y'all go. It's, it's difficult. What are your feelings towards these guys? I love both of them. I mean, I might love one more than the other, but I love both of them. Who? Well, I mean, I like, I love DJ more than, mm. you know. But it's only because, you know, I know him so long. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to hurt your I, feelings. Yeah, my feelings. Only thing I can say is sorry. So tell us this whole story going all the way back to when you first met Shayna. Well, it started off on Facebook. I saw her and my people you may know, and instantly I just started hitting her up and she replied back. She told me she was 21 and I was 17, so I felt like the big guy around campus and stuff, you know? Yeah, like, nice older thing, I like that. <laughs> uh -huh. So we got into a relationship and I was supposed to meet her in New Jersey, but she disappeared on me. Did she ever explain what happened or? The whole time that we've been talking, it's been excuses about everything. Like I got called into work or I got bad service, why we can't video chat. You kept talking obviously after. Mm -hmm. Like she always knew what to say to get me back. Yeah. Um, so me and her was just talking. Then a year after she disappeared. And then I got a weird message in my email and it was her friend, Destiny Lopez. She said, hey, Shayna was my friend and she passed away. Had you ever heard of Destiny before, or she just was a random friend of Shane? Just a random person. Wow. So I was feeling heartbroken. I was hurt, and I cared about her, and I loved her. So I'm like, I just lost a girl that I never even met yet anyways, too. It was like hard for me to move on. I was talking to other girls and stuff like that. And then I started dating other girls, but it was just hard. When Shayna died, did her Facebook yes. page go away, or did it just disappear? It disappeared. Completely. And then two years later, I'm scrolling on Facebook and it says, people you may know, Shayna Vasquez. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, you find out from Shayna's friend that she died and you don't talk to her for two years. Two years. And then all of a sudden she pops I'm up. I'm and scrolling on Facebook. 
and I start instantly hitting her with messages. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's been two years I thought to you and done like that. Like, where the f you been? Like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> wow, wow, back from the dead. Uh huh. And then she told me, I apologize. I've been going through stuff. I just got out of a bad relationship. It was a violent relationship, and I didn't know how to handle it and stuff. Like, she always needed to get me back. When she popped back up, I was in a relationship. And what happened to that relationship? Oh, we broke up. I think it had something to do with Shayna being back? Uh-huh. She got me texting her and stuff like that, you know? Oh, so like, man. Yeah. Texting a like, dead girl? <laughs> yeah. You broke up with a real living person for a Facebook zombie? <laughs> uh-huh. You must really love Shayna. I do. I love her. Eight years is a long time to be waiting, man. We're going to figure this out, yeah. though. I'm ready. We got you. Here we go, Utica, New York. Hello. Yeah, it's Najee. Oh, hey, what's up, man? We saw you were friends with a girl named Shayna. Oh, you said date her. Oh, like date in real life, in person? We met since for like four or five months, but we've never seen each other in person, though. Wow, when, and when was that? Last year. And what happened? Why didn't you guys ever meet up? Because it seemed like she was just always playing games. Never was in video chat. Did you ever have any, like, proof that Shayna lived in Syracuse? Yeah, she said she seen me last month when I was at work. She said she called my name. I did hear somebody say my name, but I didn't see who it was. Then she messaged you and was like, hey, I saw you at your work? Mm hmm That's creepy. Yeah, she told me everything I had on, too. Whoa. That's some, like, shady stalker right. Yeah. And did she ever mention her friend Destiny? Yeah, she's messaging me a few times, too. Yeah, trying to talk to me about Shayna. What's Destiny's Facebook? Can you respond in a link to her page or something? Oh, yeah, I could do that. I got messages from her, too. I could uh, screenshot those and stuff. Oh, great. Do okay. you know anyone that's ever met up with her or seen her? One of my bro's baby said he's messing with her for like eight years. But he said he never met her where neither. So you're telling me there's another guy in Syracuse who's been talking to her for that long? That's crazy. I'd Jeez. love to talk to Pape if you can send me his info. All right, I'll do that too. All right, thanks so much. Bye. Whoa. Wow, this just took another turn. Next level shit, man. This girl is talking to lots of guys. Two eight-year relationships. And she's like seeing these guys yeah. and texting them like, oh, I just called your name out at your work. Oh, boy. Hello. This is Pete. Yay, what's up, babe? We're trying to figure out what's going on with this girl, Shayna. Oh, she's a true catfish. True catfish. It's official. It's, our, it's official. How do you know? I dealt with her for years, and, like, she gives me an address, right? I drive 40 miles out to go see her. she tell me she see me. She tells me exactly what I'm wearing, what car I'm in, and everything she's saying is legit, but I'm like, where the f is you at? Wow. No. She's not come outside. It's another chick that's bad catfish, her friend Destiny. Bad, bad on the internet. Right. They both catfish. Because I was trying to fuck both of them. They both catfish. <laughs> and I think they might actually be the same person. <laughs> I think so, man. We're going to try and figure this out, man. All right, man. God bless y'all. Have a good day. All right, All right God bless. Thank you. How you doing? I'm Neve. Hi. Uh, of course, you know CJ. But we don't know who you are. Rebecca. Rebecca. Okay, nice to finally meet you. Do you want to explain what's going on here? I don't. I don't even know where to start. What? What's your deal? I, I mean, what of Shayna is true? What's not true? Who? Who are you? I think Shayna, as a general person, that's really who I am. Yeah, maybe the personality. But, yeah. I got a question. So this whole time you was in Syracuse? Yeah. Why did you tell me that you live in New Jersey? I made up like New Jersey and other places I lived to try to like get away from the situation because I felt bad. How did you keep it for like eight years? Like just didn't tell anybody. So if you if you never had any intentions on meeting him, what was the point of all of this? I I, honestly, I don't know. I had a lot of, when I made the Facebook, I was in a situation um, just trying to catch the person I was with cheating. So I made the Facebook to do that. That's how I ended up talking to CJ. How did you get all those pictures, though? Some girl that was friends with my son on Facebook. Oh, how many kids do you have? Five. Wow. Do you really have a daughter? I do. I call her Was she really sick and stuff? No. So you set up a GoFundMe page for a daughter with I fake did. cancer. That's, That's sick. seriously sick. Were you 
I think I was just, I was trying to cover the lie that I had told him. I wasn't, I didn't have like, it wasn't, oh, well, I'm just gonna rob people of their money. It was another lie to cover another lie to cover another lie. Who was Destiny? Me. Hmm, are you serious? Why did you tell me that you died? I just, like, I really just wanted to be done with the situation. I didn't want to keep lying. But then I felt bad because you were really hurt over. But then you started talking to other people as Destiny. And obviously continued talking as Shayna, too, because we reached out to a handful of people on Shayna's Facebook page, and most of them have a very similar story as to CJ. Mm -hmm. if, if you'd done it to one person, you, you maybe could say you felt bad. But to see that you've been doing it to, I don't even know how many. I mean, do you even know how many people you've talked to as her? No, mo most of them, minus CJ, was more or less to just keep, keep that image going so that people wouldn't think that it was a fake Facebook. I never took those conversations seriously. It wasn't. Well, they did take it seriously. I understand the, the original reason for making the Shannon profile was something else, but when you met CJ, was it just for fun to talk to him, or did I you... Re I really cared about, like, I really started having feelings for him. Right, but, and but he was 17, and you're not in your 20s, no offense. How old are you? 38. Wow. So, okay, you were 30 when you met him. Yeah, I didn't really think about but it. But you knew he was 17 when you met him. Yeah. That's kind of messed up. Like, it's one thing to, to mess with people your own age, but, like, to mess with a kid for f eight years of his, like, young adult life? I don't know, I'm just hurt about it, like, cause... I wasn't trying to hurt you. That's not true. He had girlfriends that you with. Yeah, when I was in a relationship and stuff, and you sabotaged some of my relationships, and he was in a relationship with no, other I people, too. Some of them You did. never texted or messaged any of the girls he was dating? I don't remember that. Hmm, are you serious? That's, that's crazy. I gotta go. We just read your email. You spent, was it about six months talking to this guy and established a really serious connection with him? Yeah, you know, we met on Tinder. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, you're so pretty. Here I am, a single mother of two. There's no way you're gonna want to talk to me. But I said, ah, let's give it a try. So I swiped right, pops up where a match, and then eventually we had like our first phone conversation and we just really emotionally connected. Like every day, anywhere between an hour, two hours a day, we're on the phone. You know, sent pictures to one another and he was just really supportive of everything. He was okay with the fact that I have kids. But when he wanted to make things exclusive, it just kind of scared me just because we hadn't even met yet. You kind of did your homework and you found out that this guy might be using someone else's photos. I actually didn't do my homework as well as my girlfriends did my homework. They did the image search and it came up linked to someone else. And I don't think I'm the only person he's doing this to because somebody reached out to me who had been talking to Lucas also. She lives in New York. She got a hold of me just based off of the ladies that he was following to let girls know that he's not him. Whoa. Also, he talked me into sending him private photos, and I believe that's what he does to everybody. Wow, this guy. Oh my god. Yeah. So are you afraid that if you expose him that he might release some pictures? It's crossed my mind, but I haven't confronted him about it because I think he has a suspicion that I know that he's not who he said he was. A girl contacted me, her name's Ursula. And she says, beware of the scammer, Lucas. He's pretending to be somebody he's not, and he's developing relationships with other women, all of which I didn't necessarily ask her about. It's a hard thing to know that you are sending private photos. You know, I may have done Playboy, and I may be a dancer, but when I send you a personal picture, it's because I trust you. And it's disturbing to think that he's taking advantage of other women that way, too. Pretty a sinister thought. Yeah. No, oh, it's disgusting. We gotta figure out who this guy is. Mm -hmm. At the moment, it looks like Ursula probably knows the most. Right. So maybe we should video chat with her just to make sure she's legit. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, Whoa. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Really good. Thanks for answering my call. Uh, obviously, I don't know if you recognize Jamie. Hey, you. Hey. 
Hi. But, um, <laughs> nice to meet you. We've been talking a lot about you and we have so many questions and we're trying to figure all of this out. Can you explain to us what happened with you and Lucas and everything that you've figured out? Yeah, we met off Tinder. He told me he was living in Missouri. And then he told me he was moving to New York City for an internship at a technology company in New York. Yeah. And then I basically found out that he's not who he really is because I booked a flight to Missouri. So he came clean. But you booked a flight to Missouri, did you go? No, I didn't go. No, I didn't go. You told him that you bought your ticket and then he realized he better tell you the truth. Yeah. What did he tell yeah. you? I'm not who I've been saying I am. I'm not the guy in the pictures. Jamie sent him pictures, some of them nudes. Did you ever send him similar? Yes, yes I did send him intimate photos and videos. This is what I think he does. Gets into an intimate relationship with these girls, gets nudes from them, and then after a while he'll reveal himself and then just block these girls. And he's probably still doing that. I guess he blocked you too. Yeah. Okay, so how did you find out right. about all these other girls? When he told me that he's not the guy in the pictures, I screenshotted some of the girls that were following him and then I reached out to them. That's how I found Jamie. So. Considering that you've both been involved in this, we could try and do this together. I think it'd be more powerful for him to be confronted by both of you than just one of you. Absolutely. Why don't we bring you up to speed? Yesterday we sort of figured, okay, let's search for his number, see if it comes up with any names. It came back, registered to someone named Zach. Looks like he lives in St. Louis. So then we just searched Zach on Facebook. We found a page. Could this be him? Wait, I've, I feel like I've seen that before. And he tells me, I'm not the guy in the pictures. I'm like, show me the proof, like prove it to me. So he sent me a picture. That is him. Oh man, that's definitely the same guy. Yeah. So we got our guy. Now, we asked the women on our crew to try and follow him and he accepted. So Paige is obviously very much up and the last picture that he posted was 17 hours ago. That's messed up because when he was apologizing to me, he told me I'm the last one, which is obviously bull When I asked him why he's been doing this to us and other women, he called us an experiment. Ugh. But he admitted to me he's catfished over 400 girls. What? 400? Are you kidding? Gross. What? We just got a weird text message. This is from Mike in casting. Hey guys, hope all is well with you. We were just contacted by a woman named Sarah. She was catfished by a guy named Lucas. And we think this could be connected to the story you're currently filming. Let's call her. Hi, Sarah. Hi. How are you? It's Neve and Max. Hi, there. So someone from our casting just saw an email that you sent about this guy that you're talking to, Lucas. We're sitting with two girls, Ursula and Jamie. Hi. Hi. So these girls also met Lucas on Tinder. What's become very apparent is that this guy, Zach, has been doing this for years to maybe hundreds of women across the country. And so if we go to Missouri to find him and confront him, would you be willing to meet us there too? Because I think the more people we bring, the more powerful the message might be. Yeah, I'd be happy to come. Hello. Hey, what's up? Are you Zach? Yes, this is me. Hi. Zach. Hi. How are you? I'm great. You're who I was texting with earlier? Yes, yes, yeah. And you know these three young women? I do, I do. Why don't you come on out for a second? Yeah, sure. So, I don't know if you have something you, you want to start with, because we, we have a lot yeah. we want to say, obviously. Yeah, so, um... I don't know where to begin. Well, okay, well uh, why don't you start with who you are? Okay. And how this all started. Okay. Um, as you guys knew me as Lucas, um, 
I'm Zach. That's my real name. This all started just over a year ago. I was curious about someone who was as attractive as Lucas, the kind of reception they would get on Tinder versus Zach, myself. I started to really enjoy the attention I was getting from people I'd never gotten attention from before. And that, to me, was something I had never experienced. And I was, I was really happy about that. And that's the, that's where it started. How many? How many girls? Too many um, that I talked personally with. I got their numbers, like 400. That's disgusting. Yeah. That's disgusting. Oh I mean, that's one of the blunders of online dating is um, you start talking to these people casually and It's that, not casual that, talk when you have to Photoshop photos and take an hour to make a fake video. That's not casual talk, I mean, that's, that's deliberate that's, lying. I recognize like 100% that that is not okay. So why do it if it's not okay? I. At the time, I didn't think twice of it. Have you ever hurt that bad? Like, has anybody ever crushed you? Maybe once, twice. Well, it's happened to me a lot. I didn't need somebody else to come along and manipulate me and take time away from my kids and my family. Are you thinking of the impact of your actions when you do these things? Honestly, no. You know, like, that's the selfish part because I haven't really had the opportunity possibly well, wanted a, to say. not about having the opportunity. Yeah, oh, it's no, about I, just I, doing it. Yeah, yeah. You know, there were a lot of lines that you crossed. Soliciting naked photos from them was a huge line that you crossed. OK, and I'd like to address that. Yeah, uh, address that. Please yes. address that. Yeah. I can't just stand here and say, like, that wasn't interesting, because that was. But that wasn't the point. That's, I think, that? Like, what do you do with the photos? Are, are they all like on your computer and file folders with Lisa, Jan, Steph, Ursula? Do you save them? Because I'm betting money I, that you do. I deleted them. I'm not proud of that side of it. That's Listen, the side you that. Listen, catfished all these girls. This whole thing is nothing to be proud of. I really have a hard time believing you delete photos. Yeah, you guys can look if you want. Do you have your phone on you? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's look at the <laughs> phone. Let's start with you the guess, phone. Hold on. Are you deleting stuff right now? No, no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm like, I'm scrolling back and forth. To Here, we know how to scroll through a phone. Yeah. Okay. Here, just give me I, I would normally say your privacy would be something I'd care about, but in this case, that's what are you, re you're we recording? Didn't have any. Yeah, our, our conversation. Yeah. Oh. You're recording all this? Um. Are you kidding me? Um, that's so f***ed up. Yeah. Let Neve, look, Neve, just take a step I mean, back. Take a, uh, yeah. Look okay. over your shoulder. <laughs> Don't worry about him. Okay. He'll find or not find whatever he's looking for. Yeah, yeah. I'm finding some stuff on your phone. OK, I, I, didn't, I didn't, like, scrutinize, like, it. Yeah, no, but I, you know, I, I know enough about how to yeah. keep things private to know to look in your Google Drive, which okay. you probably didn't think I was going to go into. Uh, I, I found one list that you keep in your Google Drive, list of girls, Jamie in parentheses next to it says, Portland former Playboy model. And then you have a status mm -hmm. a list underneath. And for Megan, it says, on the level of saying, I love you, lives in Vegas, doesn't know she's being catfished. Lauren, also on the level of saying, I love you, lives in Palm Springs, I think, doesn't know she's being catfished. <coughs> Deborah, been talking for a while. She lives in Illinois, wants to meet Lucas badly. Watch out for that subject. Oh doesn't my. know she's being catfished. Jamie, talking since November. Ursula told her she's being catfished. How do we know this is like truly over? Because you don't really seem to give a It's not fun anymore at this point to have something going just to know that it's going to come to an end for me as bad as like something like this is. All right, so we'll, we'll just be in touch and let you know about maybe meeting back up. Thanks, guys. All right, see you later. Miss you all. Wait, what, what'd you say at the end? Miss you all? Yeah. Like, what is that? That just sounded like a joke. Like, did you really say, <laughs> miss you all? Like, a playful, like, was that oh, a yeah, playful remark? You. Dude, like, you really seem like a huge head. Yeah. So, think about that. Working on it. Dude!
this guy that you've been talking to on the internet is sort of the most tame, normal, and grounded, stable and, and stable thing in my life yeah. that you've ever had. He knew what to say, you know, he knew how to, you know, measure up and deal with me handling like a personal death. He's been there for that. He's been there. And he's responded in ways that you needed. Yeah. I want that just as much in person than I do like through a texting. What do your friends think about the situation? They don't know what's going on completely. Right. Um, I've actually like spent money on him. What does that mean? What kind of money? <laughs> like I probably spent at least two grand worth. On what? Just like clothes. Buying him gifts. Has he ever sent you a picture of him with the stuff you've sent him? No, never. Not even like of the stuff? No, he's only done it once. Like when I sent him the biggest box, I got him like a thousand dollar camera. Whoa. Yeah. A camera that can do what? Take like, a picture, take, take video of yeah, himself? Yeah, like a Canon, like the big nice ones what? that are like this big. But he yeah. knew you didn't have money. It wasn't like. I've only sent him money once. Ooh. I sent him a money order of a hundred dollars. But he never sent you a thank you note? No. When my birthday came around, I asked him to send me a birthday card, and he couldn't even do that. So believe me how devastated I, I was. I mean, come yeah. on. Oh my god. Wow, it really looks like him. Very interesting. It's definitely him. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely the guy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. What's up, man? Wow. Like... What's going on? Nothing. How are you doing? Pretty good. Oh my god, you look good. This is my cousin Julius. Hi. Hey, what's up, man? Can we put a mic on? Uh, yeah, can we, can we put a microphone on you? This is, this is pretty weird. <laughs> You're telling me. Thank you for meeting us. I know. There were some concerns. We're all very happy that you showed up. It's just not really easy to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Having made three seasons of the show, I am very surprised to see you. I just like a real, I don't know, like I have a comfort zone and I don't usually tend to go out of my comfort zone. Sometimes that's just how I handle stuff, so it, it took a while, you know what I mean? And now we're here. What was the reason that you guys hadn't ever talked on the phone? Uh, pretty weird. <laughs> That's on me, 100%. My comfort's like texting, and I don't know, just like a lot of my real close family gets mad at me because texting is just kind of like I'm comfortable with. She got mad at me, but... I was more than mad. Why wouldn't you have answered, though? Even if it's your comfort zone, like you couldn't even just say, hey, like I can't talk right now. It was I mean, that difficult to even just say like three words. Right, but some of the times, like, I don't know. Like, but then just... you prolonged it for two years. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That's like not really my thing. Let me ask you this. Why would you never send me something back when I have asked you? Even like for just a simple birthday quad? But I, I told you from the beginning, like, I accept your gifts. Like, okay, I, yeah, I, you I, can't I'm even spend not, a dollar. You couldn't go to the no, dollar store and get a birthday that. card and 35 that. cents for a stamp and an envelope? I told you from the beginning, I appreciate everything you send me. <laughs> and I told you a couple of times that you shouldn't send me this because I don't feel comfortable with mean? taking all of this. But I can't send you anything in return. But what do you mean when you say, I, I can't send you anything? For a while, it was just financially but I mean, like a postcard. That's literally like maybe $2. Yeah, I know, I know. yeah right. like, you know. I'm sorry I didn't know that really meant something to you as a postcard. Like, I thought that me and you were like, cool. We're here mm -hmm. because you Alicia. have a girlfriend. What is it about her that you like so much? I don't have anyone in my life right now who makes me feel the way she makes me feel. And she's really hot. <laughs> I feel comfortable with her. I'm not a very open person. And I feel like with Alicia, I can show my real personality. But has she ever explained why she won't meet you? No one really knows that she's gay, so. Well, that's a reason. Yeah. She's been with girls before, but her family's never known of her having a girlfriend. Have you and Alicia ever had an argument? Yeah. She wanted me to buy her a phone because her phone had broke. And at first, I wasn't really into that. Like, I don't know about that. So she got mad at me. 
She's like, how am I supposed to talk to you if I have no phone? So I bought her a phone. Really? You did? Yeah. Wait, time out. Yeah, wait a second. You bought her like a nice new- I bought her an iPhone. You bought her an iPhone? How did you buy her the phone? She's like, Eco Western Union to me. I'm like, oh, okay. Because she wouldn't tell you her address. Mm -hmm. Have there been any other gifts that you've given her or things that she's asked for? Since oh, yeah. we've been dating, I probably sent her a total of $600. Wow, I mean, that's a lot. I mean, for someone in your situation. Yeah. Just from everything you've told us, it's very possible that this person is lying to you. It is, and that's why I can't take it anymore. I, I, I love her to death, but I, I can't continue having a relationship through a mobile phone. Hello. Hi. Oh Alicia. Sorry. Yeah. Came here obviously to introduce you to Aaliyah. You guys know each other clearly. You don't have anything to say? to say, girl, if I wanted to meet you, we stay in the same city. I would have made that happen. So you don't want to, you didn't no, want to meet me? No, I don't. Me? What's this I hear about you have a boyfriend? And? Is, is it true? And what? Yeah, it's true. And what? <laughs> so yeah. what about us? It's nothing with you. What you mean it's nothing? Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't send you money. I didn't, I didn't bought you a phone. Eh? It was a lie. What? Like, you embarrassed me. You embarrassed yourself by doing all this. <laughs> you could have been told me this. Like, I talk to you every day. You couldn't tell me. So, I didn't want to hurt your do. feelings. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. But it's okay to hurt them now. You wanted this, so you got it. What did you want? I guess I got what I wanted. And what was that? Whatever you gave me. I need all that back. <laughs> what about your job? You was my job. It's not that you might have feelings. Do you know you ruined, no, I do you know you ruined no, my I life? Don't. Girl, whatever. You ain't even got a job. Like, you're not even worth my time. Whatever. Like, okay, then. Do you so know how much you time here? you if wasted? Worth your time, why are you here? Why are y'all here then? Obviously, I thought you loved me. Well, you thought wrong. Well, you told her you loved her. So? So how is it that you came to meet Sydney? All right, so there's a friend with request. It was a friend you made home. We started talking there. She's caring, puts others before her. She's a family person, you know? She was telling me she's going through a lot. She was taking care of her daughter, her little sister, and her grandmother, because her mother was in jail. Wow, that's a, I mean, so she's got her hands full. How old's her little sister? Oh, uh, I believe she's six. Oh, like really little. How old is yeah. her daughter? The daughter's about seven or eight months. Oh, oh so my she's God. got like a newborn. Yeah. But recently, her grandmother passed away. When she passed away, she had to move out. So she's been living in a shelter. Has she ever asked you for money? Well, like the first two weeks that when we were speaking, she told me I'd like to help her out with some money to feed the kids and stuff. So I, I sent her some money. How much? That's it. it was 60 bucks. That's it? Yeah. OK. In the last five months? Yeah. When you send her the money, like, how are you sending it? Western Union. Like, to her name? Well, she says that she didn't have an ID, so she told me to get a security question. Her pet dog named Snowball. So that's how she can pick up the money. Right. Keyword, Snowball. Yeah. But that means that when she goes to pick up the money, she doesn't have to show an ID. She can just say, my pet's name is Snowball. So, OK. There, there's some sketchy things here. I see a woman. I think this is our well, person. not the girl from the picture, though, right? I don't not think the girl so. from the picture. Hi. Hi. Sydney, I presume. Mm, yes. 
I'm Max. What's your name? Nay. You're Nay. Yeah. Okay. Nay. Hi. Hi. Neve. Mm -hmm. Are you the person we've been talking to and the person Lewis has been talking to? Yeah. And how did you find that girl whose pictures you used? You know those things when they're on Facebook and it's like, like if you like McDonald's. Okay. I scrolled down through the flags and I found her. And I seen that she lived really far away from Dallas. So I just kind of took her pictures, blocked her from the page. and. So you, you found her profile randomly, downloaded her photos, blocked her, and then you just made up the rest. Yeah. Because when we spoke yesterday, I asked you yeah, if you were to in the pictures, because I didn't I think you didn't were. I think, um, I really didn't think that I would even show up today. Well, we're glad that you did. Yeah. OK, so what's true and what's not true? Um. Are you really staying in a shelter? No. No. OK. Is your mother in prison? No. And did, did your grandmother die? No. Wow. Why did you make that stuff up? Uh, I mean, it was just, I don't know, like at the time, it's just hard to explain, I guess. All right, well, we're here, so, so take, we're, yeah. take a deep breath and explain. OK, at a point in time, I was just really struggling, I guess. I just had my baby. OK, but you do have a, an infant. Yes. That's true. OK. And was like, OK, baby's going to need milk. Baby's going to need diapers. Baby's going to need clothes. And, and I was just talking to Lewis like, to get them to send me money. And Lewis sent you some money? Yeah. OK. I mean, that's messed up. What kind of person does that? I they, mean. I mean, I understand you were having a hard time, but like, to lie about who you were and sort of lead them on and get Lewis to give you money. What you're describing is a con artist. No. I mean, I know it doesn't sound like that to you. No, I mean, because I'm not, that's not who I am. Like, I basically only did that because of my situation at the time. I was just struggling really bad. So, so was but, you're, but you're not homeless? No. So where do you live? With my mom. Does your baby dad live with you? No. And is he involved at all with you and them and? No. No. But you live with your mom. Yes. So for the most part, your basic needs are met. Um, yeah, because of me, not nobody else. But you work for, the, for money? No. No. So when you say you're struggling and you need money, it's because your family doesn't have a lot of money and you need to get things for you and your kid. Yes. What about getting a, a job? What's Paolo's money situation? She didn't really have any money. Has she ever asked you to help her out? No, she would just kind of say that her phone's going to get cut off or something. And there's been like a couple times where I paid the phone bill. I got her a Wii and then I got her a new phone. What else have you done? I gave her my bank information. What? Yeah. Dude. Have you ever just sent her money? Yeah. Through one of those prepaid cards that you put money on. How much? A couple thousand, maybe. Jesus, man. That's crazy. I'm going to assume that your name is Lloyda. Yeah. I have a lot to say to you. First off, I don't understand how, even after me buying you all those things and being there for you and stuff, how you keep lying to me, how you kept it going. I gave you a lot of time. Tell me the truth, and you kept on lying to me. 
he basically took advantage of me, and that's pretty <laughs> up. Like, can you tell me why you even made that fake profile? Just boredom. I honestly wasn't looking to meet anybody off of it. I was just bored and made a fake profile. You just, that's it? Nothing else? I'm sorry. I mean, all that money I spent on you, are you going to pay me back? Are you going to give me the stuff? What? Do you want to take the stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know we came a long way so you guys could meet. Because I think Ramon deserves an explanation. I didn't think any, any relationship was going to form with him. All of it was real, just not the appearance. That's the only thing that was fake. OK? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Not right. I know it's not right. Still. You spent over 3,000 freaking dollars on me. Do you not think I don't feel bad? I'm surrounded by that every single day. You couldn't have, like, came clean after all that if you felt bad? I tried to come clean. You tried to come clean? You know I tried to come clean. You know I tried to come clean. Please don't. You know I tried to come clean to you several times. Yes, and you every didn't. single time. Yes, I did. You were acting all sad. You knew. Hi. Hello. Loida. <laughs> Loida, I'm Neve. Juan. Thank you for uh, having us over. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Your daughter's been having a relationship with Ramon for quite some time now. He wanted to come over here and ask you guys some questions, just so we could try to walk away from this, at least knowing sort of the whole picture. As far as you knew, your daughter was in a relationship with Ramon. Yes. Did you know that she was pretending to be somebody else? Yes. I was aware of the whole thing. This is my sister and I love her to death, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it regardless. Loida flat out lied to Ramon. This guy was sending gifts, very generous gifts. He wanted to, a, just, to hold on, to a girl who sure, he thought. he wanted to. Right. Didn't it bother you that there was a guy who was sending your daughter lots of things and he thought he was sending it to somebody else? No, 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 cut it right there. When he starts sending her a expensive gift, like for example, the wheat, Loida mentioned to me, Mommy, I think this is going too far. She decided to tell him the truth, and he stopped her and told her, I don't want to hear it. I didn't want to get that face out of my head and everything, that name. Well, I looked at your page, your real page, and found a picture of a ring and a message that looked like it was from me. He sent her that ring. I never sent her a ring at all. When Loida opened the envelope, it had your name on it. You did send that to her, Ramon. I never sent her a ring. If he's saying he didn't send it, sorry to tell you, Ramon, somebody pretend to be him and he doesn't know. Loida, you want to explain that to your mom for us? What? how that all happened? What happened? The ring. The ring. Ramon gave you money. It was birthday money. You went online, you bought yourself a ring, you mailed it to yourself, and then in front of your mother, you lied to her and told her he had sent it to you. Am I wrong? Are you surprised, though, that, that no. she sent the ring? Whatever. No, not, not whatever. It's yeah. important. These details no, are important. Whatever. You're not really hearing no, everything. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Your daughter's a liar. My daughter's a liar? What about Ramon? Ramon has his own issues to deal with. I, I okay. can see that. So you met Wayne mm -hmm. in a Facebook chat room. It was like a meeting, a flirt and meet type of group. Flirt and meet. Huh? Like, it's like slip and slide. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're going to slip and slide in somebody's DM, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You know, I was trying to flirt with somebody else, but every time I posted a picture, this man was liking it. He was not giving up, neither. He's like, you so cute. Like, oh my God, just so gorgeous. This guy totally wore you down with persistence and flattery. Yes. Can we see the picture? <laughs> Do you have it? Yeah, that's a, that's a handsome, built guy. Yeah. He must work out. He works out. <laughs> but things were good for a while. Mm -hmm. 
That's when I asked him to video check. OK. He didn't want to. Or just he couldn't talk right now. I mean, a guy with a face like that should be show, face show it to the world. Yeah. He should pick that face, foam up, and be like, Look at my face. <laughs> and then for some reason, he started getting calls from private numbers. Yeah. What happened to his phone and his phone? He number? said that it was broken. He like, I gotta get a new phone. Then he asked you for money. No, I offered. Do you need help? You know, getting one. You're like, well, I wanna. FaceTime with you, so right. I got 300 bucks for you. Yeah. Several months then passed. Here come that private number again. I'm like, so why are you calling me like this? It was ridiculous. I don't know who else this is over yeah. here. These are nice houses. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Not bad. This guy doesn't look like he needs $300 for an iPhone. Is there like a shack at the end of the street? <laughs> there right is. No, this, this is it. This damn. Okay. We got a suburban and a an Audi, Audi with some rims. No, there's no way this is his house. But what's with the three hundred dollars? Exactly. Oh, hold on. Here's a car. It's a Maserati. Oh wow. Is that pulling up to this house right now? Damn. Is that? Could that be Wayne in a Maserati? Could it be? What is happening? <laughs> what? Is this the guy? He's getting out of the car. Should we, should I get out? Yeah. How you doing? What's up? What's your name? Wayne. You're Wayne? Yeah. I'm Max. What's up? Hey, man. How you doing? Neve. What's up? How you doing? What's going on? This is Robin. You're the one we've been texting with? Yeah. And who's been talking to her for the last three years? Yeah. OK. And this is your place? Yeah. OK. So what? Yeah, so what's, what, what's, the story? what's the story? I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all already know. We, we don't. Not really. We have, I no, mean... we have no idea, to be honest. All we found out was that yeah. you weren't the guy in the pictures. I mean, it's a reason for everything, so. What's Team Skylar? Oh, that's my company. We do a lot of work in the community. We do a motivation speaking. I do investments, and I do a whole lot. So, OK, so we'll, I want to hear more about that later. So what's with the f weird cell phone business and the fake picture? I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, it's more or less like I want to know that she was who she says she is. Like, I want to know that she was real. I mean, people see the houses, they see the cars, they see the materialistic things, and people be fake with you. So dealing with Robin was something that was solid. You know what I'm saying? It was like she didn't see all the materialistic stuff. She liked it me for me. So even to me having her send me one money at one point in time, that comes from me wanting to know if she was really like me for me. You but got the I money, and then, and then you ain't never get the phones. Well, I had the phone because I didn't need the phone. They were just trying to see, like. That was like a test. A test to see what she do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then you kind of left her high and dry. <laughs> what do you make of all this? I don't know. This is it's like... stupid. You just lying. Just lying. Why you just waited for three, I couldn't three say... years? Listen, no, listen, no, listen, listen. Three years you waited to just keep stringing, stringing, stringing me along I like no a little, little old dog or whatever on the leash. You here now, so you gonna come home or not? <laughs> Which one you want? You want the Maserati or the Audi? <laughs> I'm just saying. Look at it as a blessing. <laughs> We're very curious how this child that's yours and hers came to pass. What What's the story there? She did not want to take the time off and be pregnant. Neither did I. So we decided that let's have a surrogate. So I would send her money every time I got paid. But. She did everything on her own without even me knowing. And I just found out about the baby two weeks after he was born. I don't even know what the baby looks like. Wait, you know, hold on. So. What do you mean you don't know what the baby looks like? You haven't seen a picture? No. So you don't even necessarily there's know that there no, is a baby? There's no baby. There is a baby because when I talk to her on the phone, I hear the baby in the background. I really think she meant for it to be a surprise. Surprise, here's the baby that we talked about. You weren't there for its birth. I was a little mad about that. A little? How have you not seen a picture? 
was she said that her camera is broken. Oh, come on. This is insane. This is insane. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. His name is Jeremiah, but I nicknamed him Baby JoJo. All right, well, look, I definitely want to help. Because you need it. This whole situation needs help. If it's true that she went ahead and had some kid born behind your back, that's so far removed from what actual parenting should look like that I don't think you've been given an, an opportunity to even be a parent yet. I get what you're saying, but I just don't believe that there's not a baby. There might be a baby. I'm not saying there isn't a kid. Neve is saying that you weren't included. In fact, you were excluded in a very deceitful, mean way, I think. Therefore, you are, like, you are off the hook. I disagree. She makes me feel included, even though I haven't seen him yet. I've already put my time, money, love, and affection into this relationship. How much money have you put into this? Like a thousand. Being that I sent her money, she had to use the ID to go get it. That has to be her. It can only be picked up by someone showing ID. Yes. Well, that's something. Uh-oh, here goes, here goes. Door's opening. Hey. Is Courtney here? No. Are you kidding me? That's not Courtney. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany. Courtney's sister, right? Yes. We don't really have any proof that it is Brittany aside from the phone number. It could be registered under some kind of family plan. I ain't mean for it to happen like this. Are you the person Kiara's been talking to? Yes. This is uh, Brittany, Courtney's hey, sister. So this whole time it was you. I'm sorry. I just, no baby. I mean, I don't have a baby. So the baby in the background, the it's my sister's son. My feelings are genuine. I mean, I just look different. I don't. So what was the point of using your sister? Like, you weren't going to be interested in me. I mean. Well, you don't know that. But you, right, you don't know that. I'm sorry. I mean, sorry I mean, is not can, really cutting it. Like, I spent it, my but... money, time, energy. We had so many plans, and all you have is I'm sorry. We can still have those plans. I just look different. I mean. Yeah, I know, but the, the real issue here is not that you use pictures of your sister. It's the baby. You made me feel like I had a whole child. But I thought that I had somebody that I can love and will love me unconditionally. And now I'm just not a mom anymore. Like, you took a feeling of a baby away from me, and it's not OK. Are you doing this to other girls, too? No. Are you receiving money from other girls? No. Are you talking this to is other my first girls? Time I ever, this is the first time I ever did something like this. I'm not even this type of person. I still don't believe it. So are you not interested in that? How could I be? Like, how, how, how so, did you think Kira, I was going to react? I didn't think it was going to be a positive reaction, but come on, after two years? I mean, so it's just that easy. You were, you. It's just, supposed that, to be in all, love? it's just that, first of all, first of all, you're not gonna play victim here because you're not the victim. There's no child, you're not Courtney, you're Brittany, and yet I'm supposed to just be okay and we live happily ever after, seriously? Like, logically, did you think that that was gonna be my mindset? Does your sister know that you used her pictures and her name on a dating app? No. So how are you picking up the money that I was sending you? It's my sister. I mean, it's not that hard. We stay in the same house. I'm, I'm easily walk into her room, and her wallet's right there. Like I would take her ID, and <laughs> they never right. like never questioned that. Mm. Does she know that you were doing that? No. I made some bad decisions, but. I want to work through it, work obviously. through? How about you work about giving my money back? That's, well, that's not, a start. Uh, that's, pro that's not a problem, I mean. So if it's not a problem, why did you take my money in the beginning? I have a girl right here. Of course it makes me feel guilty. We just read your email. We've got a lot of questions. First of all, how did you meet Elijah? 
Well, we talked a lot on MySpace and messaged back and forth. He was just always giving me good advice and really like there for me when I didn't know anybody else. Our relationship just kind of grew really fast and like I confided in him and told him all my secrets. And then one day just he went offline. One day I signed onto MySpace to like message him and his profile was just completely gone. Wow. It just says the user does not exist. At first I was really sad and like I kind of thought like maybe I did something wrong. But two years after Elijah disappears on MySpace, all of a sudden he pops up on Facebook. Yeah, exactly. He messaged me saying, like, I used to talk to a girl named Solana and like I'm hoping it's you and if it's you, like reply to me. I didn't want to let someone back into my life that was just going to walk out. And I told him to text me, but he didn't have a phone. What do you mean he didn't have a phone? He still doesn't. Do you really believe that? Uh, not really. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, everybody has a phone. He has a texting app on an iPod. You are still holding on to this. Yeah, there's a big question lingering from my past. But you've also started dating this Danny guy. I really like Danny, and he's good to me, which is really awesome. He's a great guy. Does he know that you reached out yeah. to us? Yeah, I told him, and honestly, he really wants me to be happy, so he's been supportive, which is really awesome, because most guys would be like, screw you, I'm out of here. Inviting us to come into your life and connect you with Elijah is only gonna cause waves. Are you ready for that? I just need to solve this thing because it's been lingering and it's been basically holding me back from committing fully to Danny and that's not fair to him. I don't want to wonder what if about this person for the rest of my life. You were pursuing Elijah there for a while and he was pursuing you. Were you thinking it yeah. was leading to definitely. kind of a, a reboot sort yeah, of definitely. relationship 2.0? Definitely our relationship was like evolving. A couple months later you met Danny. <sighs> Yeah, that was great timing. He's willing to let you discover who Elijah is. He just wants me to be happy. But you think Elijah kind of could always be coming in and out of your life? I'd prefer if he would just stay in my life. Because it's just confusing and messes up my other relationships. I just want something stable because my whole life has been up and down and rocky and all over the place. I just want like a safe place. And I don't know if that person can be Elijah or not. You're sort of holding on to an idea that this guy that you kind of yeah. fell in love with when you were 13 could be the one for you. Yeah, it's like torn between the two. <laughs> oh my god. Dang, you look gorgeous. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm awesome. You didn't come up, I was like <laughs> Psych? This is crazy. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm meeting you right now. It's insane. How's it feel to be here, actually? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't expecting the beer, were you? We were just... expecting you. How are you? I'm awesome. I'm nervous now. <laughs> You're real. Yeah. I'm real. They're real. Is the hair real? Yeah, my hair's real. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I think we're all in a little bit of shock. <laughs> that was Joshua? Yeah. My older brother, he was tending to my hair. I gotta make the mop look good. I'm Neve. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet hey, you. Elijah, I'm Max. Max. How's it going? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Your name is Elijah. <laughs> yep. You the guys... whole time, it's been you talking. I'm the one, you know. And this is your family's house. Yep. And how old are you? I'm 20. Why couldn't you audio chat or, or video chat? I have Skype with people for a while, but then that computer broke, so I don't really have a webcam for that anymore. Well, we just saw the YouTube videos. I didn't use like a webcam or anything for that. It was, I bought like a really nice camera after I got a job, you know. But you still have your video camera, right? I mean, no, I sold that to help pay for rent. It sucks, but. And what about not having a phone? Have a phone? Yeah, I just use my iPod right now, but otherwise I don't have money. Really? really. Don't I mean, see that. I don't, yeah, it's like generation two. This is what you have? Yeah, text me app, yeah. Text plus. Wow, and there is no camera. No. So far everything we thought you were, you are. I don't know, I'm just like kind of overwhelmed right now. <laughs> From your point of view, what happened? It just started when I got on MySpace and you know, it was kind of like a suggested person even knowing she had my style. So I was like, you're cute, you know, I'll talk to you. <laughs> Over time, she was someone that made me feel, you know, being myself, you would just, you know, like, and it's nice to feel that way. Yeah. Hey!
Wow, look at the new hairdo. It's purple. It's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you hold up your hand again? Yeah. yeah. What is that? It's what? a wedding ring. What? I'm trying to get it close. What? You got married? Yes, me and Danny went to the courthouse and got married. Oh my god. He put a ring on it? Is he there? What's up, guys? Hey. Yo! Danny, what did you think of her tattoo when she came home? It's good artwork. I like it. Now they have like a little tight bond. Does that bother you? No. Well, you guys seem well, pretty happy. It's been good. We've had a lot of fun. Congrats. Yeah. And just enjoy the honeymoon. We are enjoying it, definitely. Hey, see you later, Solana. Bye. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Candace. How's it going? Good. We just read your email. Yeah. And you're in a very interesting situation. It's a little complicated. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely complicated. You're married right now. Yes. And what's his name? Danny. We met in army training and the military. And you have a four-year-old daughter. Yes. My daughter's name's Addison. Cute name. We call her Abby. So kind of explain to us things with your husband are maybe a little estranged at the moment? Uh, Jamie is a good person. It's the communication that we have issues with. He's just hard to talk to. He's been overseas or in the military, and he's very shut down about anything emotional. You know, my childhood was pretty rough. Quite a few traumatic experiences that I've been through, so I need that emotional outlet. But trying to communicate with my husband is like trying to talk to a wall. Since you guys have been married, have you been together for most of that time, or? Yes, we've never broken up. There's never been any kind of infidelity on either side. This is the first thing that I'm gonna have to confess that is gonna kill him. That's the biggest part I'm nervous about, is trying to tell him about it. Okay, so walk us through meeting Titus. I met him on a local shopping app. What were you trying to sell? A purse. A purse. Yes. Pretty much my job is buying and reselling fashion items. And a guy was looking at the purse item for sale. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Did it sell? Since that, yes, but not to him. He wasn't interested in buying it at all. He was just interested in hitting me up, I guess. So we've been talking for a few months. Small chit chat led into telling him all my life secrets. Wow. There was somebody giving me attention and listening to what I had to say for once. It just really felt amazing. Have you ever imagined what it might be like if you did eventually meet him? I can't lie, I thought about it. We've never sexted or I've never sent him dirty pictures or anything like that. But I did kind of think, you know, the grass might be greener on the other side. You know that doing this is going to create a situation in which you have to confess something to your husband. I guess my big question is, why make a mountain out of this molehill? Well, Titus is giving me the emotional support they need. But he knows more about me than I know about him. I want to know who I've told all of my secrets to. Well, I mean, look, if giving you the opportunity to meet Titus so that you can not wonder, well, who is this person is the best thing for you and your family, then, like, that's what we need to do. So one day, you're on the internet, and what happens? I get a message from Titus. He's just giving me a compliment on my profile picture. And from there, we started small talking, and it felt really easy to talk to him. It felt like the outlet that I've been longing for just appeared in my phone. And it progressed into really emotional conversations all about me, and it felt good. You did say that you guys have tried to meet up, right? Yes, I was trying to get him to meet me. I just wanted to tell him thank you and clear the air so that I could tell my husband. But he refused, he didn't want to meet me. And it's hard to tell my husband when I don't even know who I'm telling him about. I mean, we haven't done right. any research yet, but we found that when someone lives close to you right. and won't 
either meet you or get on the phone with you, it's generally because their voice will give them away. Either they're someone you know already or they're someone of the opposite sex. If he's not who he says he is, I would like to know who I'm talking to, who I've told everything about myself to. I want to know who that is. What's up? Not too much, man. How about yourself? Neve. Jamie. Jamie. Candace's husband. All right. Um, wow. Yeah. Well, I still am not totally clear. Are you Titus? I am Titus, okay, so, yes. you, so the whole time, Candace has been talking to Titus, she's been talking to you. Yes. Uh, okay. All right. Basically, I could tell there was something going on in the past few months, even right before I even started as Titus. I felt like maybe it was me that she didn't want anymore. You know, maybe that was the issue. For me, you know, to not be able to pinpoint her problem really got to me. Stupidly, I created Titus just to see if she would go and talk to someone else and if it was, you know, me that she didn't want anymore. Right? We hear stories like this all the time where people in relationships create fake profiles to see if they can get their partner to cheat on them. You know, there's some issues surrounding that that, like, I'm sure you've been struggling with. I was completely wrong and stupid that I would even have tried to set her up in that situation. A couple days into it, I said, you know, send me a provocative picture or whatever. No, I'm happily married. Uh, only my husband gets that. I was like, see, I am an idiot. I was going to let it go with that. Sure. Everything be done. A couple days later, I come home. She was really upset and crying in the bedroom. You know, I'm like, what's going on, babe? Yeah. She hands me her phone. She's like, well, that, that's what's wrong. What was she showing you? It was a picture of her and mom. I left. Uh, I still had to take my daughter to school and some other stuff. Boom. I get a message for Titus. I'm thinking, this is confusing. You know, I was planning on completely just quitting with Titus. Well, then she opens right. up to Titus, and she explains why she's upset. Here they come. <sighs> That's my husband. Wow. That's Jamie. You OK? I don't know how to feel. I don't know what to say. I don't. I just want to know why. I just thought I knew there was something going on, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I did it to see if all the issues we were having was you just didn't want to be with me. I thought you, it was me you didn't you want. You thought that I would start talking to this guy as more than a friend? Why would you think I would do that? We've been married for seven years. I've never done that to you. Why would I do that now? <clears throat> I just didn't know what was wrong, and I could feel there was something wrong. What would you have done if I did, if I fed into that? I don't know. My thought process was panic. I'm losing you. I get insecure. You know, I get worried, but I don't pretend to be somebody else and try to trick you. I was stupid in the beginning. I didn't mean to hurt you or do any of that through it. I felt like I betrayed you by even doing that. The only reason this kept going was because I felt like that was what you needed. You kept telling Titus everything that was wrong, stuff that I didn't even know about. Like with your mom, I didn't understand how you felt towards your mom. And some things you never told me, but you told Titus. So the more I kept being Titus, the more I felt like I was helping you, learning how and what you were looking for. Would it be nice? if we could have those kind of conversations in real life. I know, and that's what I realized, that I was never able to do that, and never took the time to understand why you felt those ways. I understand now. This is like the most you've ever said to me. It feels good to know that that connection was really you. I mean, in a sense, it's kind of a relief. Now I don't have to tell you about Titus because the most nervous thing I was freaking out about was telling you. 
I'm a little upset that you started it the way you did, but if you could be like supportive like you are through messages, I wouldn't need to seek out the closest thing that I can talk to. I don't want to talk to Titus. I want to talk to you. On I am I am BU. I am BU. What is that? It is a virtual world where you have an avatar and it's like an actual person. Okay. And you can go into different chat rooms and talk to people. Why am I here? I went into a lesbian bar chat room and we just started talking. It was like, I really like your personality. I want to get to know you more. So she gave me her number and we started texting. And then you started talking on the phone? Yeah. So you okay. know yeah. her voice. Yeah. So when did it go from maybe like a friendship into something a little more romantique? I actually told her I loved her first. I invested my feelings into this person a lot. She was always, you know, there for me. She was always somebody that I could talk to. She gave me the attention that I wanted. But after New Year's, we were supposed to make plans to meet. She canceled on me and said that she had to study for school, that she was too busy for me. And what happens when you ask her to FaceTime or video chat? When I ask her to video chat, she tells me that her anxiety is really bad, that she can't go on the camera, and she doesn't have a camera on her phone. Well, that's a, like a lot of excuses. You know those moves. Those are, those are the yeah. cl classic catfish moves. Yeah, I know. I know their moves, but... <laughs> I guess it just... You gotta have faith. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have faith. Have faith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to tell you one more thing. Sure. I have a girlfriend. She lives with me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys have a, an open relationship? No, we no. don't. Do they know about each other? Uh, only Sammy knows about faith. How long have you and Sammy been together? Almost two years. How does she feel about... Uh, she's really upset with me. She's really angry. Well, see, when I met Faith, me and Sammy were going through some stuff when I went on IMB. When did you tell her? Um, I told her a few days ago. Oh, so she's oh. real, real fresh. Wow. So you told her you're writing to the show, AKA, I've got this girl I'm talking to on the internet. Yeah. So yeah. Faith has been a big secret for you for the past seven months. Yeah, and I feel like I'm being torn between two people. Like, we don't choose who we have feelings for, you know, or when they come along. It's just about taking responsibility for what happens when they do. Right. Well, so when you first started talking to Faith, you said you guys were going through a rough patch. Right. What was going on? Well, it started with a girl that was texting my phone. She was calling me, babe. I was not interested. She was... Another online friend. Uh, yeah. And then yes. started sort of pursuing you. Yeah. And you found out or... Yeah, I found out. But that obviously created some issues, some right. trust. Right. Issues, I guess? Yeah. Yes. It was difficult, actually. Very difficult. But and I forgave her. And I gave her that chance because she is somebody I love. And she's somebody I want to be with. And that's why it's so difficult right now is because I did forgive her. And now she's just doing it all over again. Well, so wait a second. As you're going through that rough patch, you start a similar friendship with Faith. It wasn't my intention to catch feelings for her. I mean, as, you know, a kid, I wasn't very, you know, attractive. I wasn't very open with myself. I right. wasn't happy. So getting the attention from other people, like, saying, hey, you're beautiful, you're pretty, like, you know, it means right. a lot to me, and it gives me confidence. Yeah, but that's ever. fine. You People could still say, hey, you're beautiful, and you could say thank you. Yeah. But if they then say, like, what's your number, or we should meet up, you should be like, I'm flattered, but... Right. And if Sammy trusts that you'll do that... Can I actually just step like, away, please? I know, you know, what I did. It wasn't a good thing to do. I don't want to say that I regret meeting Faith. She was there when I needed somebody. I feel like for doing that, you know? You know, we make mistakes. Like, that's human, you know? So I was just talking with Sammy, and she just has some stuff she wants to talk about. I know why Faith didn't come around. Faith has been standing in front of you this whole time. 
I'm Faith. Are you kidding me? No. Why? I thought you were going to cheat on me. So I noticed that you were using IMVU. And I got on there, and I started talking to you. And as time went by, I couldn't let it go. Like, kicked in my room. Is this you ending things? Oh, I don't want to end things. You don't want to end things? No. OK. I want a future with her and trying to see if she was cheating on me was to see whether or not I have a future or not. But living two lives, I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't watch her go through this anymore. <laughs> Maybe you should just kind of fill us in on all the details. Currently in a relationship, and I'm currently dating somebody online, you know. And, and how long have you been with your girlfriend? Like three years. But you, you said things aren't going so well. Yeah, they're really bumpy right now. I know she know that it's over with, really. But, you know, we got kids and stuff, and it's really hard to get out of a situation like that and then just to hop in another one like this. That's why I, I, need, I need you guys, man. I really do. Tell us about Jess. Tell us about wh what you like about her. She just sparks up my day. Like, everything falls in line when I talk to her. She really loves kids. And, you know, that's something that I love. I love my kids, too. Do you have any doubts about her being who she said she is? Uh, a little bit, because we never talked on the phone. We never Skyped before. I asked her, but she's always around her boyfriend. He's real controlling, like, really strict. What makes you think that Jess would even break up with her boyfriend? Because uh, she talks about it a lot. She says she's ready to cut that off, too, so. Hey, man. How's it going? All right. Have a seat, have a seat. <laughs> All right, so when you did sit down last night yeah. with your girlfriend, tell me everything. Yeah. At first, she, you know, she, she like, brushing it off a little bit. So okay. I'm like, damn, you know, I really, it's real important that I really need to talk to you. What we got going on right now is not what's up, you know? Like, as far as not talking, not even sleeping in the same room with each other. You know, we came to, like, some type of agreement. We're going to work together as far as, like, help each other financially for the time being until we save up enough money and move on, so. What was your reaction when you told her that you were talking to, uh, to Jess online? She's like, I know you had to be doing something. I said, it ain't like I've been doing anything. Only thing I was doing was talking online. That's all I've been doing was. And did you bring up the fact that we were here to help you meet this girl at all, or? I was like, well, you know, the guys up here from Catfish are up here. You know, they trying to help me out and find out who she really is. And she good luck on that. But she wasn't, like, really angry about it. No. Nah, it was like she was comfortable with it. Serious. I'm glad you guys did come out and encourage me to, <laughs> for real, sit down and, you know, talk to her and stuff. So it's like a big, huge relief. This ain't the What's this? Hey, man, you want to chill out a second? Shh. Excuse me. This, man. For real. Don't touch me. You better back Seriously. up. Don't man. touch me. You better back up. What the kind of is this, man? You better chill out, man. What the kind of is this, man? We're talking. Him and I are talking. Yo, hey, you me? a oh, oh, He and I are talking. I'll Excuse tell me. you one thing right now, Excuse buddy. Me. One thing you're gonna like, you're gonna learn to love it too. What the hell are you talking what, about, what's dude? What's going on? I'm gonna be the one wearing the pants in this one. Understand yeah, that, dude? You're, the the what kind of is you're this? being unreasonable. Straight up. The kind of is this? I'm just asking you to take it down a couple notches. Hey, you brought a lot of attitude. By the way, a lot of attitude last night. Thanks a lot. Really felt it too. You and I got to know you better. I loved it. 
But I'll tell you what, you and I, we could do that later. Come here, we're gonna talk. You what the we got, we ain't really, we ain't got so we don't talk you, baby. Are you Come kidding on. me? You could still be my chocolate kiss, too. You don't forget about that, baby. Come on. Come on, what the is that? Hold on, hold on. Can so, do you know this guy? No, I don't know this No, I don't know this Are you Jess? Yeah, I'm Jess. You're Jess. Yeah. Man, what, man? What are you so angry about? Come on, the guy's got a family and he's talking to me? He thinks he's talking to some broad? But he did think he was talking to a girl. As exactly. Far as, right. So cool. you're you're a good actress. Sure, I like that. Yeah, why not? That's oh, hell, no. What, what's your name, by the way? You, you skipped that. My name's Justin. I'm gonna take a take a stab at this. Sure. You're gay. Obviously, I'm not gay. Well, I'm it's not so obvious. I mean, you 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 are pretending to be a girl online and, and having a romantic relationship with a guy. So. I give it to you. You got me there. Right. So, maybe. May what it was to begin with was just a, it, it was a joke, this fake profile, just playing around with people, whatnot. I, I didn't think anything too much of it until, you know, honestly, I started seeing guys like him who are already in a relationship. So I was like, you know what, I kind of have this power to use it for something, use it for good. What I had with him was a little bit personal, and obviously you guys got a taste of that. What my message is to tell people, look, you can't just around on relationships that you're in. You felt like it was your job to sort of teach him a lesson. Is that, am I, am I, I just want to make sure I Very, understand. Yes. We're, uh, we're, we're super interested in your story. Tell us more about it. Oh, yes, Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. I don't even know where to start. She's a beautiful girl. We could build an island. You and I could swim beside where you're in love with Jessica and have been for a few years, mm -hmm. but for the last six months, you've had a girlfriend. <laughs> Raffinate. If the sun is too sad to leave us dark with regret. She's a great girlfriend. She's one of the other people who knows the things that's been going on in my life, and uh, she's held me down through it all. Honestly, if I were Raffinate, I don't know that I would want to keep dating you. She doesn't want to lose me, but she's willing to. If that means I'm going to be happy. Have you ever asked Jessica if she's lying to you? There's a couple of things that throw red flags at me. It's been like two times when I tried to see each other. She had came to Atlanta, supposedly. But for some reason, when she was supposed to be here, she would pick up her phone. That's Exactly. I need to know if Jessica is real. We want to help. Please, please. We're going to get on a plane and, uh, and come meet you. Thank you. All right, take it easy. Good to meet you. See yeah. you soon. He's literally caught between two women. Which well, is, right. Can be a good place and a bad place. That's true. What is this? You can't have one without the other. <laughs> Guys, like Romeo. You can't have a right shoe without the left shoe. You can't have a girlfriend without a boyfriend. We both have to be together and it makes a complete pair. Why don't you have those shoes with Jessica? Jessica wasn't here to create it with <laughs> Yeah. I've been with her every day for her seven months. You moved in with Raffinet? Yeah. I mean, because it's just like, it's wild that you're in this, you're kind of cheating. You've got shoes with another cheating. girl's name. I mean, you're, kind, you're having two, you have two girlfriends. Do you feel bad or guilty? Of course. I have a girl right here. Of course it makes me feel guilty. And she's? Tell me she's okay. I don't think she's okay. But I can't make her say nothing or open up to me unless she wants to, so. Huh. Uh, kind of hard situation to be in. I don't want to sit here having to choose between two. I need to know. Are you who we're looking for? Yes. I'm Eve, and Dorian, you know. You probably want to meet him. Yes. Uh, so, I'll, I'll introduce you. Hi. Hi, Dylan. How are you? I'm good. Wow. So, what is your name? Alexis. It's not Jessica, okay. It's not Jessica. Um, what was real? My feelings for you, everything was real. Um, Everything, just 
I love you so much. I just didn't know how to, I just, I didn't know how to tell you. It's the reason this has hurt me more than anything is uh, on Facebook when you had got mad because the picture, the profile picture, that was the girl who I was dating. That's Raffinae. And uh, she's, she's a great girlfriend. And she means a lot to me as well. And I totally just told her <laughs> that she was more important than she was. And I basically put that all to the side for this moment. I'm here and I mean, this is me and I want you to know my feelings for you are really deep and everything that I said was the honest 100% truth about how I feel about you. Why do you love me? Dorian, we've been talking for two years straight and you mean the world to me. I feel like I can talk to you about everything. I hear you, but it's like it's going in one ear and out the other right now. And uh, I don't know what else to say. You're in quite a predicament. Tell us about how this whole thing with Alyssa started. Basically, Alyssa and I, we um, started talking about 2013. It was good for about six months. And then she, you know, started getting controlling. I tried to meet up with her a lot of times. She just always had some excuse like, hey, I can't hang out this weekend or I don't have the gas money. Just bull Where did Alyssa say she lived? She said she lived in Indiana. It's like a three hour drive. Tell us about how it's ruined your relationship with Liz. After Alyssa and I broke up, I started talking to Liz and we hit it off and we were in a great relationship going on for about a year and a half. I'm madly in love with that girl. You were dating her for a year and a half? Yeah, a year and a half. Wow, and Alyssa just broke that up. Yeah, Alyssa started contacting me again, saying I still love you, I wanna be with you. And I was trying to give her the hint, I don't want a relationship. And she still harassed me and called me at random times of the night, two or three in the morning. As you could see that it was really hurting your relationship with Liz, like why not just get a new phone number? I did get a new number, but she got my number somehow. This girl is stalking you. Basically. The harassment continued and that was a big part in why Liz and I broke up because Liz felt like since Alyssa was still in the picture, she couldn't trust me anymore. Hopefully, we can figure out who Alyssa is, make it clear to her once and for all that you're not interested in a relationship. Right. There might be a happy ending here if we can get you back together with Liz. Awesome, yeah, I would love that. We'll see you tomorrow then. Later. Even yeah. if she's exactly the person she claims to be. Right. She's still being a B <laughs> because this guy has told her, I will be friends with you, but I'm in a relationship. Please don't get in the way of that. And she ignored it. How you doing? Um, I'm, start, I'm just trying to stay positive. It's been a rough couple days for me. So this this really happened five days ago, or yeah, six well, days ago now. Yeah, it still hurts, I can't lie. After we broke up, I said, I'm still in love with you. She said, yeah, I'm still in love with you too. So Liz, your girlfriend of the last year and a half, last week says, I'm having a hard time. I don't feel like I can trust you. Yeah, she had an assumption that I was going behind her back and doing something I shouldn't be, which that wasn't the case. You know, I've been honest with her. So you've got to find out who Alyssa is and get Liz back. back. Yes. At what point do you break up? She started controlling the relationship. It got to the point where she would look through my Facebook and tell me like, hey, you need to block this person because they're making contact with you, which is very controlling. Whoa. She definitely put me through hell. So I just felt like it was a really good idea for us to uh, stop dating. At what point did Liz come around? After three or four months, I started talking to Elizabeth. We went through so much together. We were dating for about a year and a half, and we ultimately broke up because Alyssa was trying to contact me over and over. We lost a good thing. I feel like after we get some answers, I can tell Alyssa I don't want her to be a part of my life anymore so Liz and I can ultimately get back together. Hi, you must be Miranda. Yeah. Hi, I'm Neve. Well, if you wanna come out here, I'll introduce you to the guys.
Hi, Miranda. Hi. Why did you, why did you lead me on? Um, it's hard to talk to somebody as myself. <laughs> so behind a screen, it's easier to talk to people. I didn't do any of this to hurt you at all. And I'm pretty sure you are hurt. And I'm sorry. You caused Liz and I to break up because she felt like she couldn't trust me anymore. So not only did you hurt me, but you hurt her as well. I do feel bad. And that's why I agreed to meet you guys. Is anything you told me true? Yeah, everything I've told you is true, except for, of course, the pictures. Does that mean that your mother recently passed away from breast that cancer? Part, no, that part was not true. I said well, that. Well, that's a huge. So then everything's not true. Well, the, that part. Well, I said did that. Did you have cancer? No. You came out here and said everything I said was true, except for the pictures. And now I it turns out meant, most like, of what you said entire... wasn't true. Why, when he started dating Liz, did you try so hard to break into that relationship and, and, and cause havoc? You know he's in a relationship. You know he just wants to be a friend to you. That's the story that he told us. Um, well, you know, I might have lied about stuff and everything, but he's not innocent. He has flirted with me ever since he has been dating Liz and I have text messages to prove that. The thing that he said in his text message, he shouldn't say that if he has a girlfriend. What did he say in his text message? He texted me saying something about playing with his I have that on text message, so you can't sit there and say that you didn't send it. Well, did you text it to I me? Mean, you might as well tell the truth. Whatever. Yeah, like, you might as well tell the yeah, truth, because they're going said, to see I it. I said that, but okay. I, I mean. While you were dating Liz, he's told me that he would break up with Liz for me. Obviously, mm -hmm. he didn't tell you guys that story? Nope. No. Whatever. But like I said, I agree to It's not whatever. Story. If you have this girl that you love so much that you've been having a relationship with for a year and a half, like, why are you right. sending pictures of your I wasn't trying to get let's, any let's sexual not... conversation out of you. Come on, Vince. Don't pretend, and I won't either, that you're holier than no, any other I mean, guy ever. No, we're all the not. same here, okay? Yeah. We're, Wait, we all... time out. I don't do that <laughs> Vince called us in yes, under the- Yes, under, be realistic for a second. Under the pretense that he wanted to get this girl the hell right. out of his life because she's ruining his relationship right. with his girlfriend, who he loves so much. Come on, man, you're making me look like an ass. Look, you're look, kind of look, making no. yourself look pretty bad. I mean, Liz had good reason to have suspicions about why you weren't blocking Alyssa. I wasn't trying to get back in a relationship. You were. No, I was It was something on the side that you wouldn't let go of for Liz, which is all she wanted. 